Hello everyone, welcome to the stream. Today I'm joined with Modgeist. Not Mod G. Not Mod G, no. <laughs> Chat wants G. Sorry to disappoint uh, you. Unfortunate. So today I'm going to be going through some of the rewards that I've already made for the Kevos Lowlands. I'm going to be doing a few minor adjustments to the Lance that I still haven't got around to doing yet. And also going to uh, work with the colour palette on the Ferocious Gloves. And then once that's all done, I'm going to be moving on to do some Map Editor 2 stuff. So we've got a new Map Editor, and we're going to be doing just some various outside areas of the Kevos Lowlands. So I've got a little little map here so oh yeah there we go so just sort of like the sort of outskirts of the Kebos lowlands currently you can see these areas in game but you can't get to them so we're going to make that accessible and just you know put something there something a bit more interesting i don't want to spoil too much of the excitement of exploring this this new area on release so i don't want to you know be spoiling uh, brimstone or the farming guild but we'll be looking at potentially looking at some of this area as well and maybe some of the battlefield because that is sort of under development at the moment and it's it's looking kind of cool so yeah, let's get straight into, uh, I'm going to move the lance out of the way for now so we can get a better view of these ferocious gloves. And so we've got this new colour palette over here, and it's quite large. I'm going to move that closer in. There we go. Also, this is the sort of final version of the bone crusher necklace. Oh, that's the torso. Cool, so I'm just going to be like uh, throwing questions from the chat at you, if that's alright, Mod West. Um, so someone said, what is the Kebos Lowlands? <laughs> so the Kebos Lowlands is a big old update it's to the uh, west of Zaya. So as you can see here, we've got, we've got Zaya. And the Kebos Lowlands is this area to the west. It, it involves the um, Mount Karu, Ka Karul? I don't know if I'm saying that Karum, right. Karul, yeah. Karum. And that uh, has a big old slayer dungeon full of lots of beasties. And you can see the, uh, well, the contents of that on the, on the dev blog. Well, not dev blog, the, the initial blog that was released uh, after RuneFest in October. And it also includes the farming guild, a brand new guild for farming. Uh, requires 45 farming to enter, and there's three other sections. This isn't actually what it looks like. Uh, I don't have an up-to-date version of it, but it's gone over a bit of a change in layout. But it has three sections, one for 45 farming, one for 65 farming, and one for 85 farming. And then there's just some sort of areas around the outside that we're going to be using a couple of new quests. And that's... Uh, oh, and also yeah, the Hydra boss as well, which is the big... The big uh, Big thing to shout about for the Slayer Dungeon. Cool. Um, someone said, uh, why does the Lance look completely different from the Haster if they're combined? That is what I'll be uh, doing today. <laughs> so I'm going to be, well, I'm going to look for the Haster while we speak. I'm going to get that into the game as well. Uh, we'll get that into, the, into Jagged. And I'm going to spin the Lance around. I think what I'm going to go with, well, not the Lance, spin the, um, the Haster around. I think we're going to go with this sort of, the, the swirl around it is going to be the the shaft of the, the Haster. I'm going to take the, the shape of the end of the Haster and put it on the bottom here so it does have some resemblance to it even if it is fairly loose. And I just need to find myself that Haster. There's also, um, there's been a few, uh, not the Dragon Haster, no, it's called the Zamorak Spear isn't it? So there's also, there's been a few designs floating around the, the, the Reddit for what the, the Zamorak Spear, no that's the Making History one, that's the Staff. Trail. Oh, there we go. God sword. God wars even. No, that is a god sword. Bear with me. It is. Where is the bloody sphere? Is that the one? There we go. So there's been some. Uh, currently, I think the has the Zamrakin has and the Zamrakin spear look essentially identical. So there's always a chance for uh, making the spear and Hasta slightly different. If that is uh, something that the players want, and this can sort of be a, it can maybe be an in between stage between these two current items. So I'm just gonna flip this around. Actually, I want to get to this later because I want to work on the gloves first. Someone said, will the Hasidious rework come with this update? Uh, it would have been great if it could, but due to the, um, the, the, the schedule it's looking less likely, but as soon as uh, this update is out in early January we'll get a chance to uh, start doing that and you know, there's usually a little bit of downtime between projects so I'm sure we'll have a bit of time to get that out maybe oh, I'm not I'm not gonna say a deadline but but at some point in the in the new year quite early hopefully cool um, other questions uh, why are the gloves not red being melee gloves uh, well we could make them red I think it's best to make them sort of resemble the color scheme of the Hydra itself oh wow you made like the Hydra's head yeah, yeah. that's cool that's, uh, that's, that's, uh, I sort of came up with that idea on the like, my previous stream because mm. I wasn't really too sure which direction to go in and that's sort of where we went but the Hydra has a fair few colour schemes, I'm not going to spoil anything, but I've got like a colour palette here of uh, my favourite. I don't know if that's <laughs> a bit biased, but 
Uh, I didn't really have time to get other ones on, but it's always possible in the future where we get uh, the other colour schemes out there, we can potentially have a straw poll, but I'm worried about it sort of diluting the, the favourites. So I'm going to start to work on, so this sort of like dark teal sort of colour, I'm going to replace with sort of a bone colour. And well, there's not really that many colours on there, so I probably won't be using these greys. But I'll use this sort of dark ones here and change the sort of blue eyes to this slightly greener colour, so they resemble the the Hydra a bit more. With that in mind, someone said, shouldn't the lamps therefore represent the Hydra's colours? Again, that's another thing <laughs> I've been considering. So initially, I did come up with quite a few lance colour schemes. So let's load that up. Again, I said I didn't really want to split the uh, <laughs> split you all on this, but. Unfortunately, I'm going to probably end up doing that. So let's get to where are we going? Large uh, Kebos and Want Lances. God, I have a really bad naming conventions for my Jagged Pile, so you got to bear with me while I find. I think it's this one. There we go. This one I think called Lava. Yeah, I, I, <laughs> I was I was in a rush and okay. I was seeing if I could uh, break the the naming length, and I did. Okay. <laughs> Because there was one less, one less than that. Okay, so I've got quite a few lancers going on here. Let's move some of these out of the way. So this is sort of like the color, the current color scheme, but in different variations. So like a red lance with a, a black swirl, and this is the one that's currently in game. And then this is the new, uh, the original one that that was um, said it looked a bit too much like a Christmas tree. Apparently, I don't see it myself, but I'm sure. And what I've done over here is I've got a bunch of colour. Let's get rid of that one, that's not necessary. What's that? I've got a few different ones here based on different types of uh, creatures. So this one was sort of like an Ulm based one. Uh, not relevant, but it's kind of cool. And this is a Vorkath based one. The reason I was doing these was because at the time we were discussing changing the colour of the Dragon Hunter crossbow, which has now been changed to a more Ulm colour scheme. And I was just sort of playing around with other Dragon Hunter items as well. Is there a consensus of which one's their favourite? Um, people are saying like the the blue one's best in slot. Bluish, black and blue looks great. Yeah, I think black that works blue. quite nice because this colour scheme I've got here, I, mean, I could always also apply that to the lance itself, so we could have a more sort of teal and green and bone colour to sort of resemble the the Hydra. I think they've seen a few colour schemes of the Hydra so far. I think a few of them put on Twitter, but I don't think they've seen this one. So I mean. Uh, and we're not going to show it to you quite yet, because I think that's planned for the yeah. future. Have they seen the Hydra? They've seen the blue one, I believe, or the green one? They've seen the green one, the green sure. one yeah. Oh, the blue one was the original one they saw. On the uh, right. first, but that's no, that, that was the green one. Was, I thought it was blue. No, blue this one. is definitely the green one. No more talk of colours. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But, yeah, there's, there's many different potential colours it could be. Someone just said Ender Dragon. I don't... I assume you mean black and purple, but uh, I mean that would be cool, but I don't know if that was uh, overly relevant. I'm just going to move these out of the way for now. So yeah, there's potential, oh, also these are, this is the old model, that's why there's two dragon heads. Uh, I removed one of the dragon heads, they made it a little thinner and slenderer, so because it is a one-handed weapon and it was a bit bulky in that iteration. So. I don't know if like maybe people's monitors are wrong, but I did the original concept of the Hydra and I made it green. And so either my monitor is wrong or your monitor is wrong. But well, we can, uh, look, I've got the dog dev blog. It might be on. It isn't, is it? Uh, no, there's no Hydra model on here. Maybe it wasn't on the blog. Maybe it was on the. Reviews. Is that too close? Sorry. Okay. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit getting a bit ASMR. I can't see anything. Of, no, I didn't. Looks like we didn't put any images in the blog. Maybe if I just go in Osiris Hydra, because they can't have too many images out there, can they? Sort of a bluish green. <laughs> bluish green. <laughs> it's bluish green. There we go. <laughs> so this is the, that's the one. So that's, that's is that the old one? I yeah, that's, that's the, the old one. Yeah, yeah. old. Yeah. That, nothing looks like that now. Well, it, it might look similar. But not those colours. Yeah. Correct? yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Cool. So I'm just gonna start putting these. Uh, I'm, I'm not gonna spoil the colour scheme of the final hydra. Am I? I feel like I've made you paranoid. Now. <laughs> yeah, sorry. A little bit. Yeah. No, nah, no, you're fine. It's alright. Okay. Let's just start replacing. Um, uh, I can't even use it for reference because I delete it. But I'm just gonna 
I'm gonna guess. I think I'm pretty sure this is what I was gonna go for. So take the black and change that to a, the darkest one. Same with this one as well. So this is sort of makes them resemble. Well, doesn't make them resemble, but makes them a bit more in line with the color scheme of the Barrows gloves as well, which I'm sure you will know and love. But it still has that sort of skin showing, so you can make sure you won't get confused with what your opponent is wearing. So that, well, I mean, I did that a bit too quickly, I feel. Uh, it was also a, a really cool, well, I say cool idea that I might try play around with later, is having just a hydra on one hand, and then maybe like a, a tail wrapping around the wrist of the other hand. Mm -hmm. So it sort of has that sort of you know, uh, unsymmetrical look to it, which is quite rare. I don't think we've got many gloves that do that, if any, that have a different hand to each other. No, we haven't, no, not all. see if anyone think about that. Oh, I don't know if those yeses are about that or not. Oh, potentially. They said yes, do it, I oh, think. Cool, so yeah, I'll get that done. Why, oh, why did they not change colour? I think like most of the chat's saying they want more G. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, th they might do. What is what? What are you currently working on? Me. Um, do they know much about the the farming boss? Uh, I believe it was in. Well, it must have been in the poll, right? So yeah, it, it would have been in the poll. We're doing a farming boss, but I'm working on the farming boss at the moment. Um, I don't know if we mentioned name the name of it or anything like Hespori that. Patch, yeah. There we yeah, go. cool. So I'm working on the Hespori patch right now, uh, along with Mod Ed and Mod Rye. G or E, that is really catchy. Well G done, that person. Uh, yeah, rhymes with re. That was that was inevitable, really. Wasn't West, it? you've got West is best. We've got G or re. Ghost is the most. No, I just get God Ghost. God Ghost. I can, I can live with that. That's all right. <laughs> God, now that you said G or re, Ghost, it. Ghost is toast. <laughs> oh my God, some people are like on fire in the chat today, aren't they? That's great. Well done. <laughs> Okay, now now that I've made everyone excited for Ghost that. on taste. Ghost on taste. <laughs> <laughs> Spreadable ghost. Where's my thingy? There we go. I'm just going to get a blank hand model to play with. I think uh, our hand models are probably the best models we have in game. Because they've just got the, you know just so many triangles. Oh, right. You've been sarcastic. Yes. Oh, thank God for that. <laughs> Sort of the most uh, painful thing to make in a white for, really. Because I mean, even like the best in slot gloves at the moment are just a hand model with brown <laughs> hand with a the sort of pale colour for the wrist, and that's literally it. And there isn't really much you can do with them. I'd love to like just redo all human NPCs to just have proper proportions and nice looking hands. That'd nice just be one. like ideal, wouldn't it, really? But it'd just be too big a job. Yeah, uh, no, well, it's not so much the models that would be a problem, it's the uh, animations that would take. <laughs> I just, just realised what that is, everyone's coffeeing. Coffee is... Isn't that not a bread? Oh, yeah, right. it is bread, yeah, <laughs> it's bread for toast. Coffee is toast for mod ghost. I'm surprised there's not a toast uh, emoji, I thought there would be one. Yeah, I, I've no idea. Coffee this for ghost. So I, I won't read directly from the chat, god that's lethal yeah. isn't it? I know, I've done it. <laughs> It's a, it's a risk. So what I'm going to do here is just ex give myself a few more loops to work with so I can have this sort of tail-like structure. Oh. Tail-like effect. I think I tried to do this last time and I wasn't too sure if it, if it was going to work. Oh, someone's just asked how my coffee intake is. I feel they know so much about me. <laughs> um, it's going well. I've, I've managed to stay off coffee for... Um, it's my third week now. I'm still on the decaf. Thanks for asking. I think I might need to stop drinking um, fizzy drinks. Because with the new sugar tax, they've made them drinkable again. But I'm still just drinking way too much sugar. The, the new sugar tax? Well, yeah, because the sugar tax, they reduce the amount of sugar in, oh, in fizzy drinks. Right, now, okay. So now they're actually drinkable and they don't kill your teeth. But they are still actually killing your teeth. They just compared to what they were. Yeah, so fair bad. enough. You should just not drink fizzy drinks. Yeah, they just make it so nice. 
Um, apparently, like I, Mod G was telling me, actually, that um, carbon, uh, like in fizzy in fizzy water, is acidic against your teeth. That's what um, the dentist told her. And I, I was drinking like carbonated water for ages, thinking like, I've gotten away with this. <laughs> this is good for me. Yeah. And yeah, it was just rotting my teeth anyway. Never mind. As you can see here, I'm going to struggle with the um the definition here. This might look quite bad. I probably could take the tail, like finish it on the back, poking out, if you know, if the polys let me. This is the sort of problem we're fighting with with this old engine where, as you can see here, this is as much definition our verts give us. We can't like go anywhere in between that. Which is also why when you um when your character animates, I've probably said this so many times on stream, but it looks like your character's blinking, mm -hmm. but they're not. The polys are just sort of snapping into it themselves as the character moves. Which is a great thing that we have to deal with when working on smaller characters. But it'd be nice if like, because the HD update would solve that. Yeah. They did the HD update in 2010, where they increased the granularity of, of the, the grid that all those uh, verts snap to, and they didn't get all that noise when things animate, so that'd just be the solution to that, basically. Um, yeah, so, uh, so uh, why, why sparkling water and not uh, still water? I did like it when someone said that sparkling water tastes like TV static. That's true. TV static. Um, <laughs> that it is, be a taste. It's, it's got no flavour and it just like fizzes in your mouth, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, but if you go to uh, Tesco, um, you can get like an apple and elderflower flavoured uh, sparkling water, which I recommend. It's very good. It tastes a bit like um, like tang. Like tang. Or uh, what, what, what do we have tang. in this country? Um, is that an American thing? It is, yeah. Or oh, what? Apple tizer. It tastes a bit like oh, apple tizer, oh. and it's just got like zero everything in it. Like all of the labels are like green with zero percent on them. It's just <laughs> sparkling water, but it's like the perfect substitute for fizzy drinks. Unfortunately, the part of fizzy drinks I like is the sugar, not the fizz. <laughs> oh really? <laughs> it's the sweetness that gets me the. Uh, I, the fizz is what I'm all about, man. It's good. So I'm just adding some uh, diagonal loops here, so I can make it look like it's coiling around, hopefully. And this hopefully won't smash on itself, but it probably will. Have you heard of like zero calorie uh, Jello? Someone said they were on the, the ketone diet. Oh, right. They had zero calorie uh, jelly. Oh, I think. Well, yeah, you can get like low, low calorie jelly. I don't know about zero calorie. But I guess that would be, um, I mean, maybe it's a replacement for the sugary drinks. Oh, it sounds awful, doesn't it? <laughs> it doesn't, doesn't sound amazing. Uh, someone says, uh, what are you designing at the moment? So currently we've got the Ferocious Gloves. These would be the new Best in Slot Melee Gloves. Uh, this is the right hand. I thought it would be cool to have the uh, a sort of an asymmetry to a pair of gloves, which I don't think we've had before. So this is sort of based around the um, Hydra. Oh, sorry, that's getting in the way. Let's, let's move this Dragon Knife out of the way as well, because that's... um blocking the view so it's sort of like the mouth of the hydra there and it's sort of neck and then your hands poking through and then the other hand we're going to have the sort of like a tail wrapped around but i'm just sort of judging whether that's going to work because we don't have quite so many polys to work with that i'd like but it's i think i can put that down yep that works get that down as well so this is going to be it will look maybe a bit more like a tail but currently it does just look like a a, a bracelet and I potentially could join up with the wrist as well. In fact, let's bring a little bit of slant to it, like so. There we go. And I'm going to colour it, because currently it's the colour of the basic um, hand gauntlet bracelet thing that your character starts with. Um, to be fair, the Hydra doesn't have a long tail anymore. Hmm. Well, you know, <laughs> I've sort of just found a flaw in this, but I'm, I'm, I'm going with it anyway. Okay. The colour of the... it's the dark tail? Yeah, am I right in saying that? Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. right, yeah. It's uh, dark I, I, I didn't even just look to that model. Well, in detail. And I don't want to get it up because it's spoilers. Let's bring that in a bit, and I think it should probably end in a point. 
Someone says you could have... Um, oh, too close to the mic, sorry. Uh, someone says you could have two smaller heads wrapping around one another so they get a total of three heads like the Hydra. I wish that would work. <laughs> yeah. but, it I mean, won't. this one head, it was a, a struggle to get it to look uh, close to it. Having three of them would... Um, I just don't think there's space, really. Um, so someone said, what are you designing at the moment? <laughs> <laughs> the ferocious gloves. These will be the new best-in-slot gloves for cool. melee. And to get these, I believe you need to have completed Dragon Slayer 2. So you won't just be able to buy them outright. They won't require RFD, although Dragon Slayer 2 is probably harder to complete than RFD. Only Dragon Slayer? Oh, is it just Dragon Slayer? I thought, no, you have to get into the Myths Guild. You definitely need to complete DS2. I could be wrong, but I don't think I am. Harder, but not as long. Potentially. I can't say I've done both of them from scratch. Yeah, you need to enter the Myths Guild. I thought I was right on that one. Is HD a plausible future? Who knows what the future holds? I don't know. And to be honest, I'd like it to be. That'd be good. HD update would be very good for artists, wouldn't it? It would certainly make, uh, well, yeah, I, I don't know about, if, as long as it was toggleable, but that also depends on a, the, oh, on, oh, well, it's mostly an engine problem, well, not really a problem, but an, an en like an engine cost rather than, or an artist cost. Yeah. I mean, it's a, it's a cost for everyone, it's just currently not possible with our current resources. Uh, let's get this up here. Nothing's confirmed. People do jump the gun a bit, don't they? Yeah. No, nothing was confirmed. They're just saying we'd like it. Can't really see this well, so I'm just going to make that a bit brighter. Like so. And add one down here as well. They say something funny. No, it's just people saying that, that HD's uh, confirmed. Oh, well, well you're not, <laughs> now that you said that it's not confirmed, they're now going to start saying it's confirmed. Yeah, they're going to think I, that everything that I don't say is, is what I'm trying <laughs> to sort of conceal from them, isn't it? It's all subtext. It's not all subtext, unless that was subtext. Oh. Um, have we ever thought of showing away, um, showing on the... Oh, Boy, it's been such a long week, and I've now got to talk really coherently. <laughs> oh, it's been a really okay. short week for me. I've only been in, like, this is my second day in this week. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> it's it's rub nice. it in. <laughs> uh, someone asked, is it possible to show um, the ring that someone's wearing or that someone is wearing a ring on their character? I mean, I mean, it could be done, but it would be, like, four polygons. Like, yeah. I don't know if it's it really worth it. wouldn't really be worth it, would it? No. Oh, that's a good point, actually. I had a brimstone ring, and I completely forgot to put it in here. So I also made a brimstone ring on the last stream. Let me just go find that to show you all. Uh, brimstone. Oh, there we go. So this is based on an Ouroboros. Where are you? Oh, he's inside the player. Let's get you out of there. So currently our rings are quite big because it, we just make them for inventory models. And if we were to shrink this down to fit on a finger, because we have those, it would look like this. So I would say a finger would be around this big. Oh, look at that. It ceased to cease to exist. <laughs> that's what happens when we try and make rings visible. And that's why they don't render on the player. Or maybe they are rendering on the player. They're just so small you can't see them. Uh, someone says, do you have your own stream? My own stream? Someone says, does the guy editing stuff have his own, have a stream? Oh, no, I've never, got, I've never done my own personal stream. I'd, uh, I don't know if I'd be any good at that. I don't really know if I'm no. that it's entertaining. Funny. Would you all watch it if uh, <laughs> Mod West had his own stream? This is the moment. You find out whether or not you can finally there retire. We go. We've got a no. There we go. I'm good. Most people are saying yes. Ah, damn it. There you go. You've got a... <laughs> to be fair, if I was going to do a stream... Uh, I don't actually know if I, I do, if I was at home doing my own stream. I don't know if I've only got mo any modelling programmes anymore. Because... I reinstalled my computer and I lost my student version of Max. You could do, um... So I'd have to just use Photoshop. Do an eating stream. I could do an eating stream. Yeah. <laughs> Are they a thing? <laughs> yeah, yeah, people sit down and eat in front of a camera and people watch them eat. Oh my... Really? Yeah, that's a thing. But why? <laughs> Is it entertaining? Um... Do they eat a lot? Is that what's impressive? That would be good. Yeah. Seeing how much someone could eat. 
Although, a bit worrying, because I don't know if that's healthy. You don't have to do it all the time. Cancel. I mean, yeah, that's true. That would add a bit of colour to the other side. Sort of. It's hard to see. I'm going to make these a uh, F6, because that's kind of annoying me. Oh, uh, someone said you could do an ASMR stream. <laughs> Uh, I have. Uh, I was curious what ASMR was, and I did um, Google a few videos, and they were just sort of confusing. They oh. were just sort of r rubbing feathers on, on microphones and stuff. We've got um, West is Best as well, and uh, Spit Roast Ghost too. <laughs> Why does everything involve <laughs> killing and eating me? <laughs> um. <laughs> did you see the chicken ring suggestion on Reddit? I Oh, I did see the chicken ring. That, yeah, that was very funny. Good one, guys. <laughs> yeah, I think they, um... Uh, they <laughs> I think their version of spit roast meant potentially something else. <laughs> because they're now using, eating in uh, quotation marks. Oh, really? Oh, okay, I see. I see how this chat works. <laughs> I might add a... I don't know if I should add anything to the wrist, uh, to the hand as well. We still have this sort of like precedent in game where the hand and the bottom of the arm is separated for some reason. So they can like, I mean you have some animations where the hand is like a full 180. And I assume that's why they're disconnected. I can't, oh, that's not what I wanted to be. There we go, just adding some polygons there. Well, turning that into triangles because before it was a little naff looking. There we go. I mean, it's, it's always going to look pretty naff. It is a hand in old school. Which chicken would you transmog to, West? Um, there was multiple chickens? Maybe I didn't see that this Reddit post. I thought this was the joke one. But I'm not going to uh, talk about that. Give us fingers. I can't. But look, this is... <laughs> we've Actually, you know, we have, a, we have some a model that attempted fingers. Let me go find that for you. Lady Versic has fingers. She's a slightly larger model, though, isn't she? She is. <laughs> <laughs> she she has the uh, the definition. I think it's the what's he called? The keymaster. There we go. Keeper of keys. That's the one. What's a BCP? Please show with BCP. Oh, Bando's chest plate. Ah, uh, okay. Let me uh, get one of those out for you. So these are the um, the keymaster <laughs> hands. We could have these given to the players if we if we so want. What do you think, Ghost? Oh, no. No, that's the keeper <laughs> of the keys hands, aren't they? Yep. <laughs> no, never. Never show them again. I think they use... Yeah, it's, he's it's outside the, Cerebrus. It's the of the hand. <laughs> Classic. I think we have sort of like demon hands down here somewhere. <laughs> I don't know why. I, thought, I think it's for the drill demon, maybe. Yeah, hands demon. Oh, that's where... Yeah, this is, I think this is where they came from. Actually, no, they look... Oh. Maybe. I'm not sure. Um, someone asked for a hands ornament kit. <laughs> to be fair, these would be called gloves. Like a treasure trail item. Demon gloves. Demon gloves, yeah, maybe. I don't know. Uh, anyway, yeah, so th those are the best fingers we could do. And... Yeah, they're, they're, yeah. Someone said, what's with the drill sword? The drill sword. That is the Dragon Hunter Lance. I am tempted to sort of reduce the uh, the colour on the actual drill part because people do think it's a drill more than a lance. And while I quite like the design, I can see where it's a bit confusing. I don't know, I think it's alright to have that sort of like the idea that it's maybe a drill. Could you not make it so it like stabs them and then spins around at speed for like the special attack? I guess so I don't, there's no special attack, but That's when you um, be really the cool. attack animation does have a, a slight twist to twist it. Twist on it. I mean, if you could literally just like stab it in your opponent, and then it's just like, <laughs> <laughs> and, like turns around. The problem is, I don't think Quite. we can separate the road. To, actually, no, we could actually. Just make it like rotate in the hand, can't you? Yeah, but currently we'd have to rotate. Well, with the current label, it would rotate the entire thing, and your, <laughs> your, wrist, your, hand off. your wrist would like, yeah, get impaled by those. But I guess if we um, use the, the rotations that the whip has, just on the, the drill part, I mean, it would look really stretched and quite terrible. But yeah, we could make it do that, I guess. Okay. But I don't know if that's uh, what, what you really want. Oh yeah, I was getting the, bland the bleh, Bando's chest plate. So let's go grab that. Cold Wars. There we go. 
And I need to find the arms. I thought, I, thought, yeah. I did have this in the last stream, but I had to get rid of the arms because the arms have these, these really annoying uh, bracelets attached to them that just sort of clip with everything. Like so. So yeah, I'm like working on the um, corners at the moment. And you're not even going to be able to see most of them in the best in slot play body because of these ridiculous arms. Oh, what? Are they attached? Yeah, they're part of the display. Yeah, and people don't like us editing them because we've got the armadillo legs and I'd love to just get rid of the, the flares at the bottom just so yeah, they, they look nice with boots. as well quite a bit. But um, I think we've, we've put like uh, the, the helm to pole for like um, the females getting to wear the male, male helm so they haven't got like a little fascinator on their head yeah. instead That's of like, That came up again this week on Reddit, I think. Yeah, but people have been wanting to... It, it just fist. doesn't get through the pole when we do it. Yeah. So... Changing old items is always... Uh, Slightly more difficult. Yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna go back to the um the, the torso. How long ago did I delete the torso? There we go. Someone said I, I thought this was a Kebos design stream. This is a Kebos design stream because these are the Kebos rewards. Mm -hmm. So the ferocious gloves are a drop from the well. You get a part that you can then create the gloves with by using an NPC, and there'll be a drop from the Hydra. You've also got the, this is the Dragon Haster. I don't actually think I mentioned this, I just sort of, it's just sort of been floating there. So this will be, um, this is a unique from Konar Slayer, Slayer Drops. If you get on a Konar Slayer task, every monster should be, have the chance to drop one of these. And then we've got the Dragon Hunter Lance, which is the Hydra Drops, uh, an item that can be attached to the Zemrakian Haster to create that. We've also got some Dragon Knives. These are a drop from most of the uh, Slayer creatures within Brimstone. And what else we got? Oh yeah, the brimstone ring. So uh, drops, uh, I can't remember which drops exactly, but a couple of them are fused together to make this new uh, ring. It's not best in slot, but it, it's sort of like a hybrid ring. I think it has, wait, I don't want to say what I think it has. I've got the, uh, the blog here. Let me find the exact stats. Oh, I'm on the farming section, aren't I? There we go, brimstone, I've got the the Brimstone Ring, so it has 4 Stab, Slash, Crush, 6 Magic, 4 Ranged, and 4 Strength. That's actually really good. So it's a bit like all the um, Fremnic Rings all combined into one, but not the uh, Imbued versions. So it wouldn't be quite as good as the Imbued variants, but a nice alternative if you want to use multiple attack styles. And then we've also got the Bone Crusher Necklace. So this is made by combining the Bone Crusher, the Dragon Bone Necklace, and another drop from the Hydra. I think, yeah, the Hydra Tail. Yeah, that's what that is. Those are the bones of the Hydra Tail. And then finally, we have. Oh, yeah, the, well, not finally. We've got the Devout Boots. That's a Drake drop, I think. And then we've got the Boots of Stone, which you purchase from Konar, which are required to go into the dungeon. And then a drop from, I believe, the Drakes as well. I, mean, I don't know why I'm guessing these things. I've got the log right here. Um, boots of Brimstone. Yep, the Drake. Uh, which one is it? Drake Claw. So you add the Drake Claw to these to create these. And I've done a, a, a thing here where I've matched the colour scheme with the Barrows boots, or Barrows, Barrows gloves. So they sort of have a sort of Barrows theme going on there, which is quite cool. And then of course the Devout boots sort of follow that sort of Pegasian sort of theme. And also something that came up in the last stream, we had a look at the, um, the Bone Crusher. It's currently just sort of using a, a fairly strange flat daggery sword sort of thing so I went back and I found the model for the original bone crusher and then adapted it to the old school style and yeah potentially that might go now I don't know if we'll need to pull that I don't know how precious everyone is about their current bone crusher but that's um the original model right there and also if anyone wants to know what the bone crusher was the model was named as an artisanal uh, chisel so there you go apparently it's a chisel that automatically crushes bones so yeah well chisel my nizzle <laughs> Indeed. Uh, what's everyone saying? I wasn't really following the chat then. Oh, there's Barrow Boots. They're not Barrow's Boots in name, but essentially that's what they are. Much like how the Barrow's Gloves aren't really Barrow's Gloves. I, actually, no, I think we did actually change them to Barrow's Gloves, but they're not uh, obtained from Barrow's, so they're not really Barrow's Gloves. So someone asked, why would they want to use the Dragon Hunter Lance over other weapons? The Dragon Hunter Lance has a bonus damage against dr Dragon dragons and dragon-like creatures. I don't know if I'm allowed to sort of say the lore behind behind it, but I think, no, I've seen that, the, the screenshot sort of gave it away, the original, the first screenshot of the Hydra, but I don't want to give it away further. 
And it, but there is a there is a tie-in, and it makes sense. Don't do it. There we go. Oh, he's told me not to do it. Yeah, don't give anything <laughs> away. Um, and is the end poison? The poison. Yeah. Oh, that's on the. Oh, that's the dragon hasta. Uh, yeah, you can bo- you can poison the hasta, and you can also poison the dragon knives. And the dragon knives are a new drop as well, mm-hmm. and they have the a spec attack similar to the the dragon dagger. Okay. So it's sort of like a double hit, but from a distance, and at a stupidly fast speed because knives are quite fast. See it? Was that? You're gonna show off the throwing animation for the knives. Uh, yeah, I can do. Although <coughs> I'm worried that if I were to go into the animator, I might leak something. Uh, probably best not to then. Because I think the last thing I was working on was the Christmas outfit, and it might. It won't load it, but it might show the name of the Christmas outfit, and that oh, might give it right, away. Yeah, yeah, best not. So m- maybe later, but currently not at the moment. So this is sort of the um, ferocious gloves. I'm gonna get rid of this old one. Uh, part it. There we go. Go away, and connect these two together. So these would be the new best in slot. Uh, melee gloves if you've only just tuned in so we've got the sort of hydra face head thing going on there and then this is supposed to be a tail but it's very few polys to work with I might add a few more colour variants on the bottom there uh, a few more highlights like oh that's not a highlight that's the opposite of a highlight that's a oh, okay there we go so we have this really strange um, color system, where as you can see we have we have an RGB here, but this runs from zero to thirty-one, and it's a uh, yeah, it's fairly strange. But that gives us all of our all of those favorite colors that you see in game. Will the lance be uh, bis at all? Uh, I suppose so. Okay. It, I believe the Dragon Hunter crossbow works on Ulm, so this will also work on Ulm. Cool. As well, I'm just adding a bit more color to the left hand. Yeah, I do quite like the um the asymmetry to this. It is a shame that the bandage chest plate covers these gloves, but that's always been a problem. You don't really get to see your barrow's gloves either that well. Yeah. When's Dragon Hunter staff? I don't know if there will be a Dragon Hunter staff. I think it would make more sense to make a sort of anti-dragon spell, maybe a dragon bane spell. Because that is sort of what you know. That's sort of the difference between magic and melee. Although I guess they could, it could still work. I guess it gives you more options and more spells to use if it was a, a staff or a wand. Show us Black Graceful. We know you have it. If you want to see Black Graceful, <laughs> just go to Mod Rise Twitter and see the many, many pictures he's he's posted about it. The Dragon Hunter spellbook. <laughs> I mean, that would, might be a bit much, but yeah, but potentially down the line. Are the ferocious gloves untradeable? I think the ferocious gloves themselves are untradeable, but the thing used to create them is tradable. And to make them, you need to enter the Myths Guild. So you can just buy them outright, providing you can enter the Myths Guild. You skip someone's question, direct text. It's gone <laughs> off the screen. Type your question again. Yeah, I mean, yeah, we can't really see every question. Especially, well, okay, it's not actually moving that fast. I can't really use an exact excuse. Are the boots made from the sandals? Yep, the uh, boots are made by using the drake tooth, <laughs> dropped from the drakes, on the holy sandals to create the devout boots. That's what these are. Is there a hydra style shield to go with the, with the, the lance? That's direct X's question. Uh, well, being as it's a dragon hunter lance, you probably want an anti anti fire shield or a dragon fire shield, or unless you want to, you know, be uh, down in lots of anti dragon fire breath potions. Cool. And yeah, I think that's the sort of changes I was planning to make to the um, the ferocious gloves. So I'm going to now move on to adjusting the, the lance. So let's put that guy into position. Can we release Ferrero Rocher gloves? <laughs> Ferrero Rocher gloves? Will they just be Ferrero Rochers yeah. <laughs> on your hand? Just giant ones. That'd be good if you were finding someone who with a nut allergy. It would, it would, wouldn't it? Yeah, just punch them in the face <laughs> and watch them swell up. We need like a... Oh. A, a boss that just has a nut allergy, so you can just throw throw nuts at them. Uh, actually, no, that sounds a bit wrong. Actually, Maybe, per- perhaps not. Let's let, let's leave that no, thought behind. do that. Okay, let's. Uh, as I don't want to get this, the position of this wrong, I'm just going to load in the the lance again. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So 
So I stopped talking about that. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Right, it's uh, it's quarter tea. I'm gonna have to love you and leave you, everyone. Um, who will our next guest be? I wonder. We'll it's have to find out. <laughs> yeah, we'll have to find out who's coming down next. Awesome. Well, well, thank you right. for joining me. Bye, everyone. Good to see you. It's been a pleasure, Mod West. Cool. I want to try and keep an eye on the chat while working. I'm just gonna have a. Oh God, the re the G's or G, <laughs> real G has come back. <laughs> Who'd have thought? <laughs> well, okay. If that's what the chat's all going to be for the next five minutes, I can just carry on working. So I am tempted to try out the colour scheme, but before I cha start changing colours, I'm going to adapt the end of this onto the end of the lance. Unfortunately, this is quite messy as far as models go. Um, I don't really know what the artist was thinking. By um, having this one vert in the middle, everything... Oh wait, not everything. Okay, interesting. I uh, see. So yeah, I don't know what they're going for. Do they want this sort of effect? Because this, these sort of feel like flat planes. It's a little messy. Although I did rotate it. We have this sort of problem in with the um, the vert grid, which I'm complaining about again. But when you rotate things back and forth, they just slowly like lose their shape, as you can see. So that's sort of a problem we have to deal with. So I'm just going to pretty this up a little bit. I assume it probably was when it was originally modelled was kind of like even and nice looking and over time because m most um, models are sort of placed in the hand at an angle it sort of lost its uh, its beautiful shape so let's just sort of try and pretty this up without changing too much like so lance no the lance is one handed much like the dragon haster why does it have to look like I agree, De Demon Matrix. It would be a bit boring to have three weapons looking the same. But pe the players do want to sort of have a, a semblance of reality. Or like, you use the Hasta to make it, there should be elements of Hasta involved with it. So I'm not going to make it look exactly like it. I'm just going to change the pommel to have that sort of design to it. The rest of it will be look quite unique. It's good to have unique items here and there. Can you make different colours? Lances for a possible recolor yeah we could do uh, i don't really think we want to be doing that for release unless there's time but we can potentially do it uh we just want some con yeah it's exactly we just want some a bit of continuity which i agree with which is why i am here to do exactly that so let's oh that's going i don't know if that's on purpose either so, oh that thing's gone so this is sort of like gone in moved inside it's hard to really tell how it should look and how it how it's gone wrong but i'm just going to use my my eye and try and figure out which is which so let's move that up there cool and see so this i feel like this probably has too many spikes going on and i also feel like it probably should resemble the um the Zemrakin symbol but i'm not here to um redesign it i'm just here to fix it well not fix it just to make it look slightly less wonky looking for a question dragon pick modeled anytime soon again you have to go to a um, mod rye or mod curses twitter to find out more about that it's nothing to do with me I, I, uh, that's their thing they, they're dealing with that and i do I, I sort of agree i do prefer the old dragon pick model to the new one but it's all personal preference in the day since there are too many restrictions to use the gloves, can we get Bandit's gloves back like the uh, pre-EAC? What would Bandit's gloves do exactly? I don't remember them that well. And would they? Does that mean we'll take the um, the gauntlet part of the dragon, pl uh, the dragon, the Bandit's chest plate, and make those the gloves? Is it? And then I mean, then you're changing how Bandit's chest plate looks. So that'd be a bit strange. Are the irons made in this program too? I don't know what you mean by irons. Is the lance removable from the spear? I don't know, but I don't believe it's reversible. With Bando's boots and best in slot offensive boots, what niche do these boots give? These boots... Oh, right, yeah, these boots. These are more of, um, slightly hybrid boots. So if we go to the blog again, let's get the boots of Brimstone up here. So we got, uh... They, they're they not really best in slot for everything, or anything, but they have a, a nice accuracy for stab a nice magic accuracy and ranged accuracy and you'll need these boots to um survive the the harshness of the the brimstone dungeon so 
while not best in slot, they just give an option for a hybrid. They're not going to devalue anything else. And also, it's nice to finally finish that sort of barrow style boots. Please rework the whip. Again, this is sort of like a, a very old, old weapon. Sort of reworking such a thing would be quite difficult. And I don't think that would pass. Is the lance tradable? Uh, I believe it will be. Although, don't quote me on that. I feel like I should know <laughs> should know more about this project, but it's uh, there's a lot of information to keep uh, to keep track of. So what was I doing again? Oh yeah, I was printing up the Zamoraki and Hasta. So I was getting distracted. This is why uh, it's good to have someone there to take the questions while you while I keep working. I mean, I don't know how streamers can answer the chat while also uh, carrying on with what they're doing. I'm very easily distracted. I don't know if I'm changing this too much. I probably should get a model in to make sure I don't end up changing it too much. Uh, where's the spear? Zemarek spear player. There we go. Let's move this over. So that's... Uh, yeah, it's sort of... That's what I'm saying when, when they rotated it. I wasn't too sure if this was how it's supposed to be or if this is how it's supposed to be. It's always sort of difficult to tell. That definitely needs to be a bit skinnier in the middle there. So I'm going to pull this out a bit. I'm also going to fix the shaft because it's all over the shop. It's not even straight. Uh, where is it ending? There. Oh, still got that poly selected. Oh, that vert selected. So move that down. What do you think of letting us keep an untrimmed skull cape? Hmm. I feel like just letting people have the option is kind of cool. But at the same time, when you see someone with an untrimmed Slayer cape, you're like, that's impressive. They've uh, they've gone out of their way to make sure that they've not leveled any of their combat skills to 99. So unfortunately, because of that, uh, it's probably not a good thing to give that toggle. But again, it's something that we can always let the players choose, decide on. Will the Hydra have rooms like Serb rooms? Um, I believe it will be like a, a limited instance, like the Gargoyle boss. Has the Hydra Boss room been modelled yet, and will it be instance or work like Well, I just answered that. It has been created. Um, you can see a sort of snapshot of it if you go to the old school Twitter and look at the tweets they've been putting out. In fact, what I'll do is I'll go there as well because I keep talking about this. Um, this this uh, tweet they put out about the Hydra, but I can't remember what it looked like. Old school RuneScape. There we go. So, I don't want to be like leaking things that have not already been shown. So this is what we've already shown for the Hydra. So you can sort of see a bit of the environment in the background. And of course you can see the Hydra there. That is... Yeah, cool. That, that, that's all. You can go to the old school channel, to the Twitter channel to look at that. Channel? It's not a channel, is it? You know what I mean. Okay. So it's still... This, this shaft is still a little wonky. Let's... I don't know if I'm making it too thick though, because it's quite a thin, thin lance. Not lance, a spear. God, I'm getting all my words mixed up today. Uh, so that, oh there we go. So this goes down, like so. So I'm going to bring this down as well. And take that back into the middle. And i got to fix up the rest of it as well. Is that a normal or alchemical hydra? That's the alchemical hydra. The normal hydras will be a lot smaller and f with fewer heads. Absolutely epic. That is a, a mod ghost creation. You'd be very happy to know that you like it. Uh, I shouldn't dislike that. Pull that down. Oh, I still need to pull it down again. I think I'm making this too thick. Oh no, I said the wrong word. No, everyone's gonna copy this toast for Mod Ghost, guys. What do the new Holy, holy Sandals provide? Going okay, back over here. So the Devout Boots have a slightly higher prayer bonus. So I can't remember what the sandals are. I think it's three or f two or four, but these new ones are five. So it's a just a slightly better prayer bonus. Can I have a Dragon Hunter front, uh, Dragon Hunter Lance in game? for free uh, n no you're not, unfortunately not you definitely can't have it now because they're not in the game yet 
but on release you're gonna have to you're gonna have to get yourself 95 Slayer and go find the uh, find this, the alchemical Hydra and fight him instead. Like, we don't give away freebies. Does Ring of Wealth affect the drop rate of Dragon Hester? It's an interesting question that I don't know the answer to, but I'm pretty sure the Ring of Wealth will only affect the uh, rare drop table or the unfortunately poor drop table, however you want to call it. Can you use wild pies to kill the Hydra? I don't think so, because I don't know if you can boost to get the Slayer level and then get the task. Like, uh, yeah, these questions would be a lot better for a dev. Unfortunately, I don't know everything. Being as I'm mostly just been working the poly mines for the past um past few months. Is this what I'm taking down? Like that? Yeah, there we go. We've got a slightly cleaner Zamrakian Hasta slash spear. I don't know which one this is. I know one of them is one colour, one of them is a different colour. Let's go to the so I'm just gonna get the wiki page up on the drag on the uh Zamrakian Hasta. Because I'm pretty sure they use the same model. But one of them has recalls, I believe. In fact, I can find out if it has recalls or not by using the script editor. Uh, Zamorakian. That should be enough, right? There can't be too many things. There we go. So the Hasta, that doesn't link. There we go. Spear. So the spear has a recolor of 896. So what we could do here, put that color in. That's bright green. That can't be right. Wait, if this is bright red, then this is... Yeah, okay, that's the dragon. <laughs> so that's the uh, dragon spear recolor left over on that one. Interesting. Oh, there we go. This one's got recolors on it that look a bit more reasonable. So if I select this color, select the color. Oh, select the color. There we go. And replace it with this one. So this is what the Hasta looks like. That can't be right. Is it? That that looks bad. Okay, <laughs> okay. I am going to the wiki. Where's the wiki? There you are. Not my master. <laughs> oh wow. Okay then. <laughs> well, that's that's a little scuffed. That is literally what the master is recolored to look like. They've just yeah. Okay. Well then, I. I'm not a fan. I mean, at very least, I would expect something like this. You know, the sort of the color to like wrap around a little bit. Can uh, use his wiki to see how the hasta looks. Well, we use recolors, and that just seemed wrong. That so this is the spear, and that's the hasta. Just seems wrong. But yeah, apparently that is the case. But what I might do is make it red so it matches the pommel of the Haster anyway to get away from that quite ugly colour scheme that it's got going on there. Oof. That's quite unfortunate. Let's see what it looks like from the top. Because it's, I have only just made it pretty in one axis. Why can't I click on it? There we go. That's why. Uh... I'm seeing yikes and oofs, but I don't really know what it's about. 90 marks doesn't take long to get. Less said the better. Are you talking about the less I say? Should I stop talking? <laughs> I guess I can. But I don't really want dead air unless there's music playing. But I can't hear any music. Hopefully there's music. Uh, it looks like there's music playing. Oh yeah, that's the old school music. Okay, that's good. No to colour scheme is yikes. Okay, cool. Yeah, well this is what the colour scheme of the height of the um I don't know what colour scheme you're talking about now. Uh, you're my favourite old school artist. Thank you very much. We're working out what items to merch. I mean the blog's been live for many months, guys. If you wanna if you wanted to merch some things, I think you're a bit late. How is your voice doing? It's a good point. I wanna drink some water. This is just my voice though, it's very droney and monotone. Unfortunately I wasn't a... Uh, I mean, I wish I was Ed Sheeran, then I'd have a nice voice, but unfortunately that isn't the case. Um, I have to live with this uh, 
droney mess. M mumbly droney mess. That's just the way it goes, I guess. I wish I had like Brian Blessed's voice. That'd be a that'd be an epic voice to have. Oh, they may be a bit too loud. <laughs> West Sheeran. <laughs> Not quite. Your voice is relaxing. Oh well, thank you. I'm glad you think that. I've um I've only <laughs> I've only ever heard complaints before. Especially the, when I've risked that chance of trying to sing. Oh, ASMR, yeah. I guess, yeah. I guess it, it works well for ASMR, but everything else, maybe not so much. And that is not even enough. Okay, I think I've prettied this up a little bit too much. Actually, let's move that out to make that curve a bit nicer. Maybe not. Anyway, yeah, this, this colour scheme is kind of ugly. So I want to just start making it red because that's what I'm going to end up doing in the in the end. So I'm going to take the red from here. I mean, red would have made more sense anyway because it is a Zamorakian sphere. Slash Hasta. And that now it just looks like a dragon spear. Where's our co-host? Uh... Yeah, he did say there was someone's going to replace him, but I guess no one's really up for coming down. It is, um, it's understandable. This is, we're getting quite close to the end of the project. So, it's a, everyone's a quite busy. It also happens to be, um, well, one, it's update day. And second of all, we're doing a dead man beta at some point. Probably now, actually, thinking about it. I don't know, I'm not really up to date on what's going on upstairs or in live in the game. But I believe probably everyone's in the, um, in three minutes. There we go. So probably everyone's getting ready to do the, uh, the dead man beta and if everyone goes and has a look uh, maybe uh, watch um, MMORPG RS I'm sure he'll be going into the uh, the arenas and showing them off they uh, I had a lot of fun making those arenas so I had a I didn't it was it wasn't a new wall kit used for those it's um it's the wall kit from Ungal from the Dragon Slayer 2 I made like a a broken tower and that was um <laughs> it's sort of a bit wasted because that's the only place that wall kit was used so I used that wall kit to make the dead man arenas it's kind of cool yeah, thank you, man. Thank you, Sir Jimmy. Uh, would it be possible to add a bevel to the spearhead at the end of the Hasta? A bevel at which point? And I'm, I'm looking at these colours already. I sort of want to do... I might add a colour here as well. Oh, not that colour. That colour. But, I mean, this shape in general is a, is a bit naff. I feel like a slight indent. And this is the way you want the bevel to be. I'm not entirely sure. Like that. Oh. No, like, come on, lift up. There we go. Although that really doesn't look like it's changed much. If I pull that out a bit more... In fact, this, I think this goes out too much. There we go. Something like that, potentially. And take that up. I'm actually seeing messages now from the, from the rest of the group. They're talking about the Dead Man beta. I thought I exited out of that program, but it still seems to be going on. But fortunately, that is not appearing on the stream, so that's good. Yeah, I think that... Perfect. Let's look at the, the chat. Don't make the Hasta red, it's not a dragon weapon. It's true. But this isn't the, the Hasta, it's just going to be on the end of the uh, the Dragon Hunter Lance. It's going to be the, the pommel. In fact, I'm also going to get... Zuha made an image recently. And he... I always enjoy the way he uh, interprets our old school models because it always uh, he had some details that we don't usually that well he, he sort of like obviously the old school style is a lot oh we got a new mod we got I think uh, everyone's gonna be quite happy can she work out the door <laughs> we are right back a second. So you got to pull it up all the way as well. <laughs> push it, push the door, uh, push it down again. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Cool, so yep, the Rees can now stop, guys. Full screen cam. <laughs> Sorry guys, that's not happening. Thank you, Project Cubone. Ooh, cool. Now I've got some help to uh, moderate. Well, not moderate, but keep the, keep the chat in check. Although, we'll see how it reacts. 
it might uh, get a bit. Yeah, there we go. It might get a bit too full of a female. <laughs> <laughs> I like grill foggers. <laughs> This gives me a good opportunity to get some work done as the chat Do some goes stuff. crazy. So yeah, I'm gonna start. Hi guys. Taking this I've got a notepad and pen because Ghost said that sometimes the questions go too fast and you forget what you're answering. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this potentially could happen. <laughs> Behave chat. Where's the camera? It's oh. there. Okay, cool. It's the uh, GoPro. Mod G, can you tell Mod West to fix Avernic animation? Can, I, can, can I you fix the Avernic animation? What's wrong with the animation? You're gonna have to be a bit more descriptive. I didn't know there was a problem with that. <laughs> Why didn't you choose to call yourself Mod Geezer? The minute I chose Mod G, Aiza sent me a message like, you have to add a ZA on the end of that. And I think I very momentarily did, just in, like, my name appearance on Twitter. But once you pick your mod name, it's kind of locked in. I think it's yeah. quite a difficult process to change it. Yeah, I don't think it's even a thing you can change. If yeah. You, like, just make a new one. Somebody's asked me what's my IGN. Isn't IGN, like, a movie website? <laughs> oh, in-game name, maybe? Oh, right. I mean, you, you give them that at your own risk. Oh, no. Yeah, no. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> That's my, my risk. A blonde moment. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> My natural hair colour is actually blonde. It's not quite this blonde, but it's quite blonde. So... Allow me blonde moments, please. <laughs> um, okay, that's actually... Oh, RSN. Yeah, okay. RSN, RSN would have made a bit more sense. RSN would have made more sense for me, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, this is a hair stream now. Yeah, okay. Do, should we do some hair ASMR? <laughs> is that <a> thing? <laughs> yeah. uh, People do like yeah. hairdressing ASMR where they get hairdressing scissors and just go like snip, snip, snip. Why? I've been down an ASMR rabbit hole before and whilst it doesn't really do much for me, I kind of... The one I saw, that they were just like it. brushing the microphone with like weird brushes and stuff. And I was <laughs> like, does, why is this entertaining? <laughs> oh, I think I added this to the wrong one. That's kind of funny. Which accent is it? <laughs> Let's move that over. Gee, do you know about Jed? We, uh... Ish. We... I know that somebody photoshopped my face onto Jed. <laughs> <laughs> it's a classic meme. <laughs> I mean, my face gets photoshopped onto so many things. It's, uh... I mean, it's, it's usually a... Uh, Sir Sadud, he likes to um, do that sort of thing. There was a great uh, team picture once, and he just replaced everyone's face with my face. It was kind of creepy to look at. <laughs> Terrifying photoshops. <laughs> I love it when people do MS, MS Paint stuff as well. So Terps number one fan just asked, what was it like making your first piece of content? And then in brackets, cute gecko, which is touchy, <laughs> because it's not cute, it's very scary, very angry, very bad. <laughs> Well, you're going to be killing a lot of those on release, so <laughs> you're going to be a, it's going to be a big lizard murder. <laughs> lizard massacre. Mm. Everyone panic buys lizards. <laughs> <laughs> what was Same the thing. gecko for q &A. So the gecko is a new Slayer NPC. It's going to be released with Kebos. Shouldn't the soft lizards be called salamanders instead, based on the current model? So, um, I th they're called sulfur lizards because of the landscape that they come from. Mm -hmm. the re so the first idea was to create something a bit more salamander inspired. Um, but I sort of started, when I, when I design something, I start with like a Pinterest board, like a mood board, and I just collect loads of images of loads of different things. And I found salamanders in real life, I don't know if you've ever looked at them, but they're very like blobby and they don't have a great definite shape or silhouette. And I just thought for something that's supposed to be from a sulfurous landscape, I don't know if you guys know about sulfur mountains and stuff, but they tend to, yeah, oh, yeah. salamanders are, pro they're kind of <laughs> weird. They almost look a bit froggy mm. and, so I wanted something that seemed a bit more dry. Salamanders are also underwater as well. Yeah. So I wanted something that seemed a bit more dry. It's a bit like the Olm. The Olm doesn't really look like what an Olm looks like. 
That looks like an axolotl. Yeah, they're sort of similar to the to an orm, I think. Oh, they're the same thing. Uh, not the same thing. Oh, right, right, no, no, similar. no, yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, sort of like a little... With the weird eyes. Overly realistic mudkip. Yeah. But I guess the mudkips are a cartoon version of those. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whichever one came first. So cute. Um, so I went for... I went inspired by um, leopard geckos. And then when I posted the gecko gif on... T- on um, Twitter yesterday, so many people started spamming me pictures of their leopard geckos, which made me really warm and happy inside. So if anybody else has leopard geckos or any other um, lizardy animals, please send me all your pictures. <laughs> your sweater is honestly sick. I'm glad you say that, swag shot JY, because yesterday somebody was roasting me in the, cha- in the live stream chat saying that I look I dressed like a vegan. <laughs> And whilst, like a vegan. Yeah, I know. And what? I have nothing against vegans. I didn't know they had like a <laughs> dress code. I thought they were just people that didn't eat meat or animal products. Yeah. Uh, sure. <laughs> I think maybe they meant like hipster. Oh, right. Yeah. Okay. Um, maybe, I guess. Which maybe. I mean, ugh, this is uh, vintage, darling. <laughs> I feel like hipster is very loose. <laughs> you could just like, oh, you're just wearing some clothing. And yeah, that, that's hipster clothing. Yeah. Apparently. Yeah. Anything other than the basic. She's a goddamn hipster. Vegans do have dress code, no fur, no leather. I know well, vegans that wear leather, okay, to be I guess honest. you can call that a dress code, but... Yeah, <laughs> tell me. How could they be stolen? I think that's... I've incorporated the Hasta now into the Lance. I think that looks a lot better. I don't know, I think there's probably too many spikes going on, but that's just what that looks like, unfortunately. I still want to do something about the rest of the blade as well. Oh, yeah, I was looking for that Zuhar image, wasn't I? Uh, there we go. So oh, he sort of did Zuhar make that? Well, he, he, ba- he made this based on based on mine, but he sort of made a slightly shorter end section, so I might so I might copy this a little bit to make it a bit less... Um, uh, well, it's, it's one-handed, so it looks a, a bit much at the moment with how long it is. But unfortunately, the shorter I make it, the stubbier it, lo- it will look. So I'm gonna have to. I like how like drill like it is. Yeah, initially I was um when I was initially making it, I was uh, posting silhouettes on Twitter, and someone was posting. You know, lots of people were giving me different ideas for one, and one of them was this idea of a sort of a drill like uh, lance. So then that I did, well, that was put in the second or third poll, and it won by quite a bit. So nice. That's the one we've gone with. Cool, so let's start shrinking that down a little bit. Uh, Got to make sure... Can you move the hilt a little further forward? Somebody probably else. could do that as well. He's added this extra bit to it, apparently, this sort of big red section. I'm mm. tempted to add that. Although that's... Mm, he's also made that bit red as well. He's changed quite a few features, but I do quite like that. I think everyone panicked when Zuha posted a bit of art and tagged me in it. (laughs) (laughs) Before they actually saw the art. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, I think he's um he's leaving the ludes behind. So thanks, (laughs) Zuha. He's uh, he's created the uh, the the desire for them, and now he's just gonna move on to something something (laughs) a bit more a bit more safer work. SFW, please. Although I saw that he's he's gonna be doing like. Or he, he has done, I don't know, I saw a couple of days ago, he's going to do a piece of um, Neve artwork. And he was asking it whether anybody wanted, like, sexy Santa or wholesome Santa. Right. And okay. Twitter obviously chose. Yeah, I mean, giving people the option. I think, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I think he, he knew what he was expecting to get. Come on, Suha, just do the wholesome one. So I'm just slowly... Moving this up, I don't want to distort it too much. <laughs> when is Hydra released? Uh, 10th of Jan. Yep, 10th of January. So 10th of January. You've got just over a month to get the 95 Slayer if you're yet to get that. Mm. What do you, do you play old school? How, how long? So I played RuneScape as a kid. Um, obviously, who didn't? Um, there's a farm running around Lumbish Castle named... I didn't know that. He's a bloke, though, so... Sorry. Um, I used to play when I was a kid. Um, I can't remember that much of it because I was actually really young. 
but I enjoyed it definitely. My cousin played like hardcore, and he was the one that got me into it. Like back back then, I used to play like much more socially, so just building fires and chatting to people. Um, recently, I've picked it back up. I've been playing for like a month, but I've just come out of a three-year course, very very intensive. 3D animation degree, um, 3D video games and animation degree. So I've not had that much free time for video games, which is sad. Although occasionally they assign you like research, really? which is then, yeah, well, oh, they used to do it do sometimes. Really They'd be like, oh, research, like go and play a game and like report back. She doesn't even play a kicker out. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> I do play. I've been playing for a month. Basically, my Twitter handle is what I look like. My Twitter picture. And if you see me in game, that's me. And now we're gonna have loads of people. Have loads of people like dressing up the characters <laughs> to look like that tiny little image with like the red crown <laughs> and the accuracy amulet. <laughs> are you main? Are you Mercy main on Overwatch? So this is the conspiracy theory that I'm a Mercy main on Overwatch. Is that a bad thing? I think it's just predictable. Oh, right. <laughs> I don't actually have a main. I kind of fill. Which everyone's going to go, oh, she doesn't even play Overwatch properly. But I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm only gold. <laughs> Nothing wrong with gold. Why do you want to play the same game? You need life or something. Yeah, that's true. We're allowed to play at work as well. I do sometimes. Oh God, the already Tracer meme is going to start now. Oh, someone's saying we should get married. <laughs> right. We would have the blondest children ever. <laughs> yeah. I mean, am I still, am I that blonde? <laughs> I used to be really blonde, and then I sort of went a bit more brown. I'd say identifiably blonde. Mm. Well, I have blue eyes as well. Everyone used to call me Aryan when I was younger. I was like, <laughs> I'm, I, I don't, I'm not. <laughs> really. And yet your artwork earlier. Hmm? And yet your artwork earlier. My artwork? What about it? Oh no, never mind. Oh. What? Never mind. I'll tell you later. Oh wait. Oh yeah, the Christmas outfit. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> that. Yeah. I'm sure everyone will know when that when that when that comes out. That was a unfortunate situation. But they won't because I changed it, so it's all good. Cool. Maybe, um... Well, Jake Force <laughs> has asked me to marry him now as well. Interesting. Oh. Thanks, but... No thanks. Thanks, but no bigamy. Whoosh. <laughs> oh. Now I'm just getting loads of <laughs> proposals in the chat now. <laughs> we're going to make a note of every single person's proposal, make a list of their strengths and weaknesses, <laughs> and, and we're going to choose now, Mod West's arranged marriage I mean, accordingly. I, I use a proposal now, so I guess I'm going to have to say yes to I use it. Because I can't oh. say no to I well, as you've just identified yourself <laughs> as the strongest character. D dibs on Ash. Well, I think he's already taken Mask Ask. So. Yeah. Slash also by me, according to Reddit last night. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> yeah, the uh, the memes were the strongest, <laughs> thing, weren't they? <laughs> yeah. Everyone, everyone Can wants that. we have Ash. a bigger webcam? Uh, unfortunately, no, because we have no one controlling it, so we can't change those things, unfortunately. So, yeah, just to give an update on the model. So I've added the uh, the... The tip of the uh, Zemrakin pasta to the end of the Dragon Hunter Lance, and now I'm just sort of shifting the uh, the top part around. But I'm also like working on triangulating a little bit better because there was quite a bit. The sort of polygons were sort of facing the wrong way because they're just you know, with um with a polygon without turning to tries, you get this sort of odd line that goes through, and you can't really just, it doesn't really know which way to go for itself. So you've got to, like tell it which way to face. Which is good fun. Although that might look a bit worse as it starts to deform. And oh, I've moved that try as well. Okay, you're moving back there. That's why you should always unselect your verts, guys. And now I'm thinking whether this should be changed to this. So if we look at uh, Zuhar's model here, well, model, this image, you sort of made it a, a red hilt there. And I sort of like that. So I might change those. They sort of get lost anyway in the silhouette. So I might change those to red also to sort of match the rest of the hill. Although it's saying that there's too many spikes now, so I might just get rid of them. Maybe like so. There we go. I think that makes it streamlined. Yeah. Uh, there's a problem when, when you're adding spikes to things that can uh, get a bit much sometimes. People always go, oh, just add more spikes. That makes it cooler, right? 
<laughs> Added danger. Exactly. Uh, are they saying that? I don't know how this is going to work. When you're trying to use this lance, you're probably going to hurt yourself quite a bit with that hill. <laughs> As I think currently, it already clips with the leg quite a bit, so I might have to shorten that. In fact, you want to do that now. <coughs> so I want to just grab... I've got too many things in this scene, so now when I try and click things, it's just like uh, completely inaccurate. So oh I like no. tilt it a little bit. One day we'll have the, the the new jagged, and everything will be fantastic. It's a pipe dream. Yeah, it'll happen one day. There we go. What's the chat saying? Any questions? Somebody asked me how I say G, and it's G. <laughs> I, guess it could, I guess it could be G, but. That would be hilarious. That would Can you imagine if I was more gi? Isn't, what I does think, that even mean? I think gi is a thing. I don't know what it's it like is. It's like a martial arts robe. A gi. Although I think that's spelled quite differently. Mod, mod geese. Mod geese. <laughs> <laughs> right. Sure. G is in gif. I like that. G-I. <laughs> 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 I think I would have spelt it G-I, only I think you have to have at least three letters. I think we have a mod pi. As in P-I. P-I, yeah. I think. I think I've seen uh. that. Oh, no, we've got mod ed. There we go. That's, that's two letters. Oh, yeah. But if, I th if I'd gone for G-I, I think that would have been more identifiable as G. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mod G. Mod G. Mod G or mod G? Mod G? It doesn't quite work through text, doesn't it? At JagXG on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> Shilling your own Twitter. Yeah, I'm trying to I'm trying to get more Twitter followers than what I mean, guys. You've already I mean you already passed them. No. I mean you've got five and a half K in got. like under a week uh, just over a week. That's too many months to build that up. Jeez. What am I on? <laughs> Not that I care. Oh, sixteen sixteen point eight. Oh, that's taken me two and a half years. Have you seen Ash? He's on like seventy oh. two K or something ridiculous. Oh yeah, he is the uh, the god the master. 70.7k. 70. 70. Oh, look. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I guess Rai's time to, to shill his, his Twitter. <laughs> go, go, to, go see Jajak's Rai for his uh, Black Graceful. He likes to post that quite often. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. What was I doing again? Get back oh, to the lance. Let's see. Let's Why did you choose the name, G? Hmm, it's a tough one, that one. Yeah, it's fairly easy. It's your favourite letter of the alphabet? Yep. <laughs> my name starts with the letter G. That's how I chose G. And my friends call me G. G for girl. I nearly actually <laughs> went for mod grill. I was so close to going for mod grill. And then I bottled it. And I was like, I can't, I can't. <laughs> I think that, yeah, I think it's... Not too great when you force a meme. So yeah. I've, so I've been told, as I've forced <laughs> too many memes in the past. You've overdone it, the meme is dead. <laughs> Please uh, add Black Graceful to the game. One day, guys, I'm sure Mod Rai will not let that go. <laughs> and I agree, I, I quite like the, the outfit myself. Any questions? Doesn't look like it. Why is everyone yes, sound Mod Gary? Mod Gertrude, <laughs> Mod Garlic, Mod Gary. Oh, everyone's trying to guess my name now. Oh, right. Okay, yeah. Oh. Yes. Um, SJ Kill 17 has it right. Mod G equals G equals God equals Ash. <laughs> I'm Ash. Conspiracy confirmed. <laughs> <laughs> I need a darker room. There's Mod G stream. I don't stream. I don't stream. If I streamed, it would be Overwatch and everyone would hate me forever. <laughs> Does the Lance equip in different in and out? Does the Lance equip differently in and out of combat? I see myself poking bank clerks. <laughs> that's good. That's a good point. <laughs> uh, I think you just hold it upright, so you, I don't think you'll be able to um, poke them, unfortunately. Mod gnome. Mod genome. Gee, you promised streaming designs. All good things come to those who wait. That's all I can say. Gee, do you like Cambridge? You do like Cambridge. It's a nice place to be. Don't talk about who watch then. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Maybe that's a good idea. Uh, 
I don't like bringing There seems to be an argument going on in the chat. An argument. Be nice, about, guys. Why is the dragon's head throat red? Dragon's throat. Oh, right. You mean the bottom bit here? Try making that black. Uh, it was initially black, but it sort of loses the silhouette when you're like looking at it from a different angle. It just sort of blends all, all together. Why, why would you have a hasta and attach something to the base of it? You're not even using the weapon part of a hasta. It's true. Uh, I needed to um, incorporate the design of the hasta into the... In fact, seeing that, I should probably rotate it so it actually matches the... Yeah, I, should, yeah, I want to do that. The problem with... Um, it, we sort of have this this problem where we need to reuse old assets... Well, old, mod, uh, old weapons for the new weapons so the old weapons don't lose their their value. But unfortunately this sort of locks us into a position of making items that look the same over and over and over again. And it's good to have a very visible difference between some items so you, you know exactly what someone has. Even though it's very unlikely someone's going to be using this against you in the wilderness, it's still good to keep it keep it unique. And it's just a little boring if we had I mean, the, the Zarakid Hastur and the Spear already look well, literally identical except for one's slightly darker as we can see here. So this is the the Hasta, I mean, no one uses the spear, and this is the spear. Oh, I guess you hold it differently. But yeah, it's just, it's nice to have something a bit more unique. And this is what the the Twitter, the twi yeah, the Twitter straw polls decided, so that's what we're going with. Uh, there was a lot of talk about maybe using more of a war lance rather than a, oh, what have I done? More of a war lance than a, a jousting lance. But when someone says lance, people think of jousting lances and not war lances. So that's why I went with the um, the this one instead. Would I have done it differently? I don't know. Maybe. This is why I like to sort of get the um the best and slot weapon. Well, not just best and slot weapons, but all the sort of rewards and items out of the way quite quickly, so I can let them stew for a few months and then see, look back a few months later and see is that what I wanted? Is that what looks good? Why are you not welding? Oh, because I've not joined them. Or did I join it the wrong thing? Join. There we go. Um, someone called, I think, Ilzen asked, can you try making it white, not red? Whites don't actually work that great in the game. Yeah, as you can see on these horns, they're very washed out and ugly. And I'm still unsure about this um, colour scheme currently. I'm tempted to try out this colour scheme here, which I did for the ferocious gloves. So this sort of, um, as both of these items are dropped by the Hydra. Uh, it sort of keeps them consistent. In fact, I want to do that now. Just sort of play around with some colours. Is that is something I can... Oh, oh no. <laughs> the selection. Yeah, it gets me every time. Um, Moji, what did you mean by adding more colours to the game? What sort of things would you do if you get the chance? Um, so, wh when I said that on the stream last night, um, like, what features would I add to the game? Um, while I do love colour, obviously, I meant more colour options. The tools that we have um, have a very limited color palette. And so if you choose a color that it doesn't like, for example, if you're using like an RGB scroller to, to find a color that you like, and you try adding it to the, to the game or to Jagged, um, sometimes it will just pop gray because it's outside of the color range. <laughs> well, you get this, this is the problem that annoys me. So you got, this is gray. So even number. Oh god, selecting it is painful. So let's make this, that's with a little bit of red. This is with a little bit of green. And this is with a little bit of blue. And as you can see, there's a very big jump for the grey, unlike the the other one. In fact, that red one looks literally it the same yeah, so it doesn't, red It just looks like a highlight. So if I were to then pull this out... Oh, not like that. <laughs> it's like my the, the fat select. Okay. So now select that color. So that was 13, 12, 12. Make that 14. And now it should. Oh, it hasn't jumped yet. Yeah. 15. It's fact, still gray. Yeah, it's, still, it's still gray. Or is this gray red? I don't know. Let's <laughs> keep going. Show me a salmon color. That's the thing. You can't get that close to like an actual salmon, as go. I would call it. That was an extra one more, and it's jumped. Just one value. There you go. 
and then you finally got to that like the jump that the grey and the green and the blue does. So that's the sort yeah. of uh, issues we have with the colour. It works especially around the va- boundaries of colours. So if you want to make a colour darker or lighter, you, there's quite a high chance it's going to pop grey <laughs> at a certain point. Even our basic grey does look a little red, which is probably what the problem is. Uh, it's just this strange system that's just old and a little outdated. And that yeah it annoys me a lot, especially when you want a slightly red tinted grey or grey tinted, a green tinted grey or blue. Mm. You're very limited. I think that working inside parameters like this can sometimes make you more creative though. It's like the same restrictions that you have with low poly. A lot of people try low poly and they just give up and go, oh, I can't make anything with this, I don't have enough detail, I can't, I can't create anything that I want to create. But if you're a bit creative and you work outside the box a little bit and develop your skills working in that area, you can learn to create form, create you know, anatomy out of minimal polys. Minecraft polys. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit better than Minecraft, I thought. <laughs> but that is the sort of style they go for and it works yeah. really well for them. I think, I think um, RS players appreciate that. Especially OSRS players, <laughs> more than most people that, you know, low poly artwork. What do you think about making so you can buy mutagens and slay helmets for a new recolor? Potentially. We do have a lot of Slay Helm recolors already. And we generally go for more unique ones rather than just using items that already exist. <laughs> oh, <pardon. laughs> that was loud. Excuse enough. you. <laughs> that, was, that was loud. Enough. That was the, uh, the carrot soup. I blame, I blame that. <laughs> At least it's healthy. <laughs> Can you downscale the hilt some more? As in the dragon part? <laughs> mm. <laughs> <I was> just, <laughs> I'm sorry guys, it, it's just, uh, oh, just, just, it just happened. I had my mouth closed and I had my, ma- my hand near my mouth as well. What, what am I supposed to do? It's just a bodily function, guys. Jeez. Come on. Okay, I don't know if I can. Can you show this. us the USA Shazian Helm plus five Slayer Helm combo? Uh, I've not made that yet, but that's a good point. I, I, I'm, I'll show you what I'm intending to do. So I don't know how it's going to work. Oh, don't minimize that one. So let's get the two items. So we got the man slayer helmet. Where's the basic one? That one? Nope, that's the uh, that's the bad looking one. Oh, I called it reg. That's confusing. So this is the regular slayer helmet. <laughs> oh, though, should I fuse it with the imbued one? Probably. Oh, that's confusing now. I'm just reading the chat. Do you want me to chat to the chat while you find yeah, it? Yeah, I mean, if they're yeah. <laughs> Wait, what's what people? Let's find Shazian. Mm, try and find something to reply to that isn't buying mod girlfriend 10k. <laughs> <laughs> cool, so I see, yeah, this is the Shazian helmet, <laughs> and this is the Slay helmet. Essentially, somehow fusing this sort of section with this cool little skull that Mod Ghost has made. Potentially the horns as well. Although it might be too spiky at that point. I love the spikes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's already quite a spiky helmet. But yeah, that will be. I assume that will probably be in the next sprint. Oh, the next sprint's the last sprint, so hopefully it'll be in the, the next sprint. But yeah, essentially, uh, can I do this quickly? Uh, probably not. Delete. What's your favourite meal? My favourite meal? Mm. Well, I mostly just have soup nowadays at work. And I guess that carrot soup was quite nice. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I have a favourite food. Oh, okay. I think that curry is the superior food stuffs. Food stuffs? To be fair, the superior meal. Curry. Asking many questions. When did Mod West propose? <laughs> Can't be a bit of lasagna. Oh, to be fair, lasagna is good. Lasagna is good. My hamster's called lasagna. You, ham- you called your hamster after the Yeah, meme? I actually, no, I actually named my hamster after the meme. Oh, okay. The one, you know, the, like, Indian Facebook meme? Uh, probably, From yeah. my n- 
from like February. <laughs> it's yeah. a bit of an It was when I got my hat. It was, it was very. We're <laughs> <laughs> all saying the links tighten now. Yeah, that's what it's called. <laughs> um, I don't Hide Kata. Oh. Ty- typed what it's actually called. I can't oh, say the yeah. first bit. Oh, it's not. Is, is that what the PewDiePie song was? based around us. Yeah, but I named my hamster that in <laughs> February, okay? I was so ahead of the curve, I didn't name my hamster after the PewDiePie diss track. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, wanna, I was going to do some... Co- okay, that that is a, a very quick representation of what the Slayer <laughs> might look like. Cool. I um, named my firstborn Ash Lynx Titan the third. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, everyone subscribe to PewDiePie so that T-Series doesn't win. Oh, don't show for PewDiePie, no. We've got to protect YouTube from T-Series. It's not even a competition, they're a completely different entity. Like, he's a YouTuber, they're like a company. I don't know, why, I don't know what it's all about. It's, okay. it's just for that number one spot. I don't think that T-Series should have it. But isn't there like, um, like YouTube movies and all that? They have like, way more subs, doesn't that? Count? That's, well, that's not a channel, that's a category. Yeah, doesn't that, they still have subscribers, I don't know. Yeah. yeah but I, I, I guess yeah, I guess it's a channel. Different but I, still, contributors. I still feel like it's a little little bit of comparing apples to oranges. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is just a meme. There's no deepness about it. Okay, cool. That's what I thought. <laughs> so someone did say that he's gonna hurt himself even further with them rotated, which I can see. But I was going to get the animation open, but as the um, lance uh, is stabbed forward, it's twisted, so hopefully he won't uh, take out his uh, thighs. He twists it across his wrists instead. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Although, oh, yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> Dark. <laughs> well, it, it's, it, this is RuneScape. We're not here to make sense. <laughs> okay, I was going to do the colour scheme, so I'm going to... Although I've edited it, so I'm going to delete. And, oh, yeah, that bloody head's in my way again. So I want to change this colour scheme to this one, but first of all I need to just turn my job a lot easier, I'm going to select all of these colours and put them side by side, although saying that, I have quite a few greys on here, and I might keep the greys, although this is the colour scheme of the Hydra, well one of the Hydras, not not leaking any information, and I'm not showing you the Hydra, just throwing it out there, but this is, this is grey with, the, well it's dark grey, almost black, but with a little bit less red and more grey, uh, more green and blue. So I'm going to make that the base, potentially have the bone as the, the swirly part, and then hmm, maybe make that bone as well. well. We'll see how it goes. I'm going to start changing the red first. So let's grab me a palette. That's all I can get. I like how we create palettes in this. Uh, we just create a poly and then just split it <laughs> split it up oh too much that's that's how they do it in 2018 none of this bob ross <laughs> flat disc stuff do you feel like overcharge overcharging the lance do you feel like you're overcharging oh do you lance? feel like i am well yeah <laughs> i guess a little bit now with the uh, the added thing there I mean, I've already reduced it a little bit. I could always take this gem away and maybe spread out this um, drill design. I think the more. gem's kind of fine because it doesn't impact the silhouette so much. Yeah, it's just uh, they wanted it to be a bit more like the, the Haster, and now it does look yeah. a bit too spiky. I don't know whether that small spike could be sacrificed. That one there? To be fair, I was considering, although it will make it look less like the Haster, is rotating this one around and removing that, and then it will look... A Bit more like the Zemrakian symbol, I think. Let's find out. So, yeah, sort of making oh, making this sort of shape here be a bit more like these oh, horns. Yeah, that, that would be safer as well. <laughs> yeah, it'd be facing away. What does the chat think of that? Has the chat stopped? This seems very. S- oh no! Oh, there oh. we go. It's still going. Make them face backwards. Try it. I mean, it's okay. I've nah. A, I've got a single nah. <laughs> Do it, try it, no. Okay, I think there's more yes. R is three Zamorak. Oh, I'm sorry, that's what happens when you type Zamorak. <laughs> okay, I'll make it more like this. That's That looks old school, right? There we go, yeah. Take off spikes, rotate it 45 degrees. Yeah, I mean, potentially. Turn the spear 180 degrees. <laughs> Alright, so you want me to, um... That was, a. Uh, 
I assume that's a, a joke or... Oh, for God's sake. I didn't catch it. There we go. There we go. This is the, uh, this is the new design, guys. There we go. <laughs> it's a very short spear. <laughs> like a very, very long pommel. It's all just front. Okay, before, before they say, yes, keep it like that, I want to... Perfect. Remove it. Oh, my God, they started. Damn it. <laughs> okay. So... Pull it. <laughs> pull it. <laughs> the dragon hunter dagger, yeah, essentially. Okay, let's... So I've still got a backup over there with the original spikes. I'm going to remove this one... So, do, 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 do. Bye, Spike. You never listen to us. <laughs> 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 well, you know, sometimes you gotta <laughs> make the exact decision. <laughs> exactly, yeah. After yeah, oh, doing something. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, John. Hi. Let's add. Uh, that colour's now a bit odd. Just now. jumped. <laughs> <laughs> I think the uh, chat is going to react to that. <laughs> oh, I just tried to select the colour and now I've got skin tone. Oh. <laughs> Who's the girl? If you don't know by now. Which rock have you been living under? <laughs> 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 Who asked I that? Saw, saw <laughs> I've been living under mod rock. Yeah, that needs a Photoshop. <laughs> okay, I want to carry on what I was doing. God, I love inside humour. Don't know who mod rock is. <laughs> Actually, I'm just going to re remove this one. <laughs> Even my mum knows who she is. <laughs> 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 I don't know. I mean, fair enough. What's Mod G's Twitter? I'm, I'm going to assume it's... Uh, you know what? Check it. Oh, well. I don't <laughs> think they could guess it. <laughs> uh, I think... Here we go. They've got the new mod command. Uh, I assume that still works. Yeah, there we go. It's done it. Seen, no other mod has had that had the pleasure of being on a Twitch command. Does Jagex have Chippy Fridays? I don't know. I, I don't think so. They've served chips on Fridays before. So, I guess Last Friday counts. there was nice dinner. Because it was payday. Oh yeah, that was, that was nice. That was great. <laughs> it's definitely on Jagex too, that would be too easy. Okay, cool. So I've made that look... Uh, what do people think of this uh, this new design? Well, this new shape. So I like it. A bit more like, uh, in fact, I think that looks a bit like the God Wars, the the God Sword now. Well, it's what about like? Um, <laughs> Essentially, <laughs> the God Sword. What about? No, it's different enough. Definitely. What about making these bits go more like that first, so they come out like that image you're looking at before? So that they, wait, what? Not that one. So the image you had up last. Yeah, that one. Oh, so they curve a bit more. They kind of come in. So if I turn that around. Oh, yeah, I see what you mean. That's the same. So if I pull... Oh, God. There we go. Too, yeah. Too many. There we go. Grab those boys. Slip them up. That's quite visually interesting. Let's make it a... I feel like it's a bit too. Let me just pull <laughs> that in. Every time I try uh, to try and press on this, it's uh, selecting something else. Oh no! So it looks like I'm just completely Seems unable to, like to do it. Yeah. I think it's just rotate it a little bit, and that seems to uh, sort it out. So pull this in. There we go. Is that Blender? This is not Blender. It's not Blender. This it's is Jagged. It's fairly similar to Blender. I've never used Blender. I've used it once, and I was like, how do I even use this program? This is nothing like Max. And I was like, oh wait, it's like Jagged. And then it all made sense. Oh. 
but it has uh, well, it has a lot more than Jagged does, and it's quite powerful. It seems to be um. People um, make some really cool yeah. stuff with being a uh, open source. It does get a hell of a lot of development time put on it. Yeah. Is this um, paint? Yes, yeah, this is MS Paint. Anyone in the chat? Have you ever tried 3D slash what 3D softwares do you like? What do you, if you can add design anything you'd like into the game and in the context of the game, what do you think? So when I, um, oh, people are saying Blender, Cinema 4D, Paint, <laughs> Paint 3D, yeah, SolidWorks, Maya, Windows Movie Maker. Can you do 3D in Movie Maker? <laughs> Not that I'm aware of. It's been a while since I've used it though. <laughs> Minecraft. <laughs> To be fair, Minecraft is a bit like voxel yeah. modelling. I find Rhino really interesting because it's more for product design and that kind of thing. 3ds Max. See, I'm a, more of a Maya person than a 3ds Max per person, personally. I need to rotate this again. <coughs> Google SketchUp. I remember learning Google SketchUp in ICT in like year six. Did anybody else use Google SketchUp back at school? I remember there was a guy at uni that was using it to design levels with, and I was like, that's... I imagine it would be like quite quick though, yeah. just to do like a, a block out, like a grey box. It seemed to work for him. Um, Moji, if you could design anything and add it into the game within the context of the game, what would you add? So for my art test, um, I got given sort of a very loose brief and I came up with a character over the... I had a week, I had a week to do my art test. And the character that I came up with um, is... Uh, a character that would exist in the wilderness and she's I can't remember because it was a while ago now but she is a sort of like if anybody knows what a harpy is well everyone's going to know what a harpy is but harpies are sort of winged women but they don't have arms sort of their wings are their arms and so I combined the idea of a harpy and a phoenix so she was, she's like a harpy, but her wings and her hair were fire. And her body is sort of like made of ash, as if she's sort of crawled out of the wilderness after sleeping for a really long time. I came up with like a massive backstory. <laughs> made of hard. mud ash. <laughs> <laughs> burning harpy, yeah, a burning harpy. I called her the Bainu, is what I called her, because that is Egyptian for harpy. Oh, that's cool. Mm. How do you guys come up with names for stuff? I uh, usually do, I do something similar. Using like anagrams. slap it into Google yeah. Translate and just scroll through the translations. <laughs> I, I do lots of anagrams and backwards names as well sometimes. Or just find something sort of relevant or some form of reference. I think, uh, well, the name of Kebos. That is Sobek backwards, which is uh, an Egyptian god. I think it's the crocodile god. Oh, nice. And because there was a swamp, that was sort of where that came from. Hmm. Angel of Death. We were, oh, me and Ghost were talking about the Angel of Death character in Hellboy yesterday and how cool the design is on that character. If anybody's seen Hellboy, I can't remember if it's in one or two, but there's a character called the Angel of Death that's face is like a piece of bone, like a piece of like one big oh, horn yeah. and it has the eyes you have to type in hellboy definitely uh, yeah i guess yeah it's kind of yeah Guillermo de toro yeah that's a really cool character super creepy so creepy with the eyes and the wings i think the the design in hellboy is just so sick please tweet an image of the phoenix harpy i'll ask if i'm allowed to do that i'm not sure I was always a big fan of the, uh, I think it was the Fawn from Pan's Labyrinth. Yeah. Such a cool design. So cool. And the... Yeah, yeah I mean, that, <laughs> that guy's just creepy. Terrifying. That, the, oh. the actor that does that, he just plays creepy, creepy, like, monsters in most of his... In his, Guillermo del Toro's yeah, he does it really well. Yeah. I think he's in, like, in a film called Wreck as well, where he just plays a creepy monster living in the attic yeah. of this hotel. So we said interesting RuneScape stream, but oh, yeah, this yeah. is interesting cool, because... Yeah. Yeah, I'm back on topic, we digressed. <laughs> okay, you keep modelling while I explain why this is interesting. <laughs> Character design and especially and creature design is so cool. And if you guys like RuneScape, 
then you have to appreciate that kind of thing. And, well, you don't have to do anything. I'm sorry, guys. I'm not trying to tell you what to do. <laughs> but I just really like taking inspiration from everywhere. And when you've got such a sick director like Guillermo del Toro or... What other like, creature design stuff do you like? Oh, oh you put me on the spot. I All I can think of is Guillermo del Toro now is <laughs> so, such a good, such good design. <laughs> I mean, it's a bit generic, but I was always a big fan of like the the wet work stuff they did for Lord of the Rings. Oh yeah, like, like the Urukai and all that. Those well, like, classic yeah. designs. I really like those. One of my lecturers worked on The Hobbit, oh, right. and came up with thousands and thousands of designs for like he. I think he was he was um, designing like four of the dwarves for The Hobbit. Oh, yeah. And for just like four dwarfs, just had thousands and thousands and thousands of designs. It was nuts. Yeah, they did a really good job of because they had to like obviously make each dwarf visually distinct and its mm. own like sort of character. You and know, like Gimli job. with the axe and the head. Yeah. That was him. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, sensei. <laughs> I was making this color palette, but I've got a bit distracted. Uh, there's just so many greys on here. It's going to take ages. I mean, I've also been tempted to change this dragon head into a hydra head, but the whole, the whole the reason the dragon head was on there was to keep it consistent with the dragon hunter crossbow. But I'm just not starting to rethink that. But what, what time are we at? We're at ten to four, so we have roughly two hours left. And I do want to get some. Uh, I do want to show off the the new map editor at some point. I think I'm gonna get mod right at four-ish. Okay, cool. Uh, the chat might go a bit crazy, but. <laughs> They'll have to deal with it, unfortunately. No, the chat's used to me now. They've had exposure therapy and they don't care anymore. <laughs> oh no, the re's and the g's. Re. <laughs> <laughs> okay, oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> you woke them up. There we go. As long as it's not Aiza. I'm going to get specifically Aiza. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, it's a relay. I can't stay here forever. <laughs> That goes all the way down. That's interesting. <coughs> Why are all of the items in the same scene? Yeah, it's kind of getting in the way, really. I was sort of showing them off. So actually, in case you have only joined us recently, so we have um, well, let's get rid of these lances because they're not really necessary. Those are just some different color schemes. But we've got I've just got lots of items that we're going to be coming with the the Kevos, uh Lowlands update. So we've got let me move this other way. Well, first of all, I think the most important thing, the original Bone Crusher model. I mean, it's actually not that interesting, but you know, that's cool. Then we've got the, the Ring of Brimstone. We have the, well, let's get rid of the extra glove. We've got the Ferocious Gloves, which just sort of started on the Hydra on one hand and a tail going up the other one. We don't really have many, um, or if any, I can't really recall, uh, glove models that are sort of asymmetrical. So this would be the best in slot melee gloves, and they are a drop from the Hydra. This is a Dragon Hunt Lance, which we are still working on. This is a drop from the Hydra that you attach to the Zemrake and Hasta and has a similar effect to the Dragon on a Crossbow. Then we've got the Bone Crusher Necklace. So this is combining the Bone Crusher, the Dragon Tooth Necklace, and the Hydra Tail. Over here we've got the Dragon Hasta. This will be a drop from Konar's Slayer. So the new Slayer Master's uh, unique location-based tasks. The Dragon Knife, or Dragon Throwing Knives even. And then we've got some boots down here. So we've got the Devout Boots. You'll attach the Drake. Wait, let's, oh, I don't want to get this wrong. I think it's a Drake Claw for this one. Where is it? Where's Brimstone? There Someone's saying to move the mic. Move the mic. I'm just really sp uh, quiet spoken. Um, can, I can I just, yeah, maybe? I don't know. I'll try and speak up. I'm just going to sit back here because I naturally project. <laughs> the ring is missing something important. Ah, <laughs> you're right. We are missing the top hat. So, the, yeah, when I created this ring on stream a few weeks ago, I made a little joke top hat. Um, <laughs> it, it's, it, it, it's around here somewhere. Uh, in fact, it doesn't take long to make one. There we go. <laughs> just a uh, quick... I like in my yeah. <laughs> well, the, the, the chat was a big fan. This is the uh, the quickest top hat making. There we go. I don't know. I think it was like a, some random person in the chat said, "Give it a top hat." So I did, and uh, it became a. I guess it became a meme, and it feels like I'm just kind of forcing the meme now. But <laughs> let's stick to it. BK West asks, "Why is the hilt bigger than the god sword hilt?" 
Um, that's a good question. Uh, I will get a size comparison in a second, but I'm doing something very important right now. <laughs> there we go. That's way too big, but you get the point. So that's the, the Ring of Brimstone. That will be made by combining several drops from the Drake. I want to say the Drake, but I'm going to wait until I've found the um, part on the blog so I don't get that wrong. Where is it? Wait, it's not even there. Is it there? Oh, there it is. That's the Boots of Brimstone. Oh, there we go, Brimstone Ring. So this is when... Oh, so it's a Hydra Drop. Yeah, I should have known that. So it's combining the Fang of the Hydra, the Heart of the Hydra, and the Eye of the Hydra. And that is sort of like a hybrid ring. So it's got similar stats to all the basic Fremnic rings without the imbues. And then we've got the Boots of Brimstone. These are required to go into the dungeon. And these are an up upgraded version of those. Again, they're not best in slot. They're just sort of hybrid for range mage and, and melee. And then we've got the Devout Boots. Uh, Drake, oh, that's what I was looking at, wasn't I? I think that's Drake Tooth. Yep, Drake Tooth can be used on the Holy Sandals to make those. They have a slightly better prayer bonus. And I'm just keeping them in the scene because not everyone is uh, able to watch all the streams and they might be a little out of date on all the brand new information. And so yeah, I just thought I'd have them in here for that. I'm yeah, angry about the mod knee post. I saw the mod knee post. I actually thought it was quite funny. Did you say it? Uh, yeah, I think you showed it to me this morning when I got in. <laughs> it was, uh, I think it was uh, an, an inevitability. <laughs> <laughs> they sure do love Neve. Is that a DDS on a stick? <laughs> I mean, it's a, it's not a DDS. A Dragon Dagger is a, a lot more angular. But the um, basic models for the Dragon Knives and the Dragon has to have the um, poison already on them, and then it's removed in, in the recolors. It just, uh, just makes things a little easier, instead of having multiple models. <laughs> Look, I'm, okay, I'm going to go get a DDS now, because people keep putting DDS, saying DDS on a stick. Um... <laughs> Lanky DDS. <laughs> <laughs> so we Long a, boy. <laughs> we did have a bit of a problem with the Dragon Dagger, because it, it looked a bit too much like the Dragon Knives, so I had to make sure that they look uh, different, because they have a similar special attack. But obviously, if you want to pray against them, you're going to want to pray something different. So it was important to make sure that they looked different enough. Uh, dragon. Where are you? It's also annoying that the um, the dragon dagger is the... You hold it backwards, much like you hold regular nut throwing knives. So instead with the dragon knives, you actually hold them how you would hold a, a, a throwing knife. But you hold it by the tip and you throw it like that and it, they don't have spin. It's gonna look cool. Have you ever thrown throwing knives? I haven't, but I, uh, I did know a guy who was um, really into throwing them, and it looked uh, it looked quite fun. I got into it for a while, but you did the get good curve <laughs> is so like tediously long. <laughs> but I just was like, whenever it doesn't stick in the board as well, you think you're gonna die. It pings back at you, and you're like, no. Oh, the, the, can they ping back quite far? <laughs> um, sometimes it depends. At what angle and how much velocity you throw with. Okay, cool. So, yeah, this is, um, they're, they're nothing alike. There you go, that's the Dragon Dagger. All, all um, 36 polys. Cool. So efficient. <laughs> <laughs> so ridiculously efficient. Yeah, it's, some, it's something that happened. I was going to recolor this, but I was getting distracted. And I'm going to blame Mod distract. the chat. <laughs> Mod distract. Well, That's the, the name of the chat. The chat was asking uh, what all these other items were. And it felt like I, I should uh, tell everyone. So that is that. Okay, so I think I've got the main colours now. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to replace these colours with a sort of bone colour over here. <laughs> and the red with... Oh, should I re make the red bone as well? Then... It, Sort of, I think it'll be a little simpler to look at then as well because there'll be less color schemes going on. Although saying that, it's just red and grey at the moment, but it'll just be sort of like a bone and a bone color and a, a black color. Somebody said quite something interesting. They said it would be cool if the thing that comes out of the mouth, which I think they mean the yeah, sort the of spiral, spiral, yeah. was red like flames. Initially, it was red. And, oh yeah, you had a version yeah. of that. Yeah. And everyone said it looked like a Christmas tree. Oh, so I, yeah. shut down. <laughs> <laughs> so I'd made it a bit. A bit more subtle. I thought it was a good suggestion, but sometimes you don't know until you try, and then you try and you go, wow, I shouldn't have tried that. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, yeah. Okay, let's start seeing how this is going to look. 
This might make it a This is no time to be festive. How dare you, Christmas? <laughs> <laughs> I think it was because we, um, the wind timber tree. I didn't realise this at the time because I haven't, I haven't looked at this in quite a while. But, well, I say quite a while. I've been looking at it quite a lot recently. As it is, uh, is the season. But it is. This is the, uh, the wind timber tree, or Christmas tree. And it's got this sort of red spire around it. So I assume that's what they were getting at. And it's sort of drill-like in shape, I guess. I think it was a little bit of a stretch, but it was a fair point. Somebody said making it thinner would make it look less like a drill. I have been trying to make it thinner, but as you can see here, it's already starting to look a bit too straight. The problem is you start to lose the form. Yeah, and there's not much we can work with. I'm thinking maybe making the dragon a bit smaller. Hmm. Well, that's it with a, a bone. I think the, the bone on here should change now. Or the horns. Could potentially match. That's apparently not a colour. I'm pretty sure I have. Why is red so important if the dragon hunter crossbow is now based on the mon monster that drops it? Why not make this hydra coloured? You have a very good point, and that is what I'm doing right now. And initially it was red and black because that's what the the dragon hunter crossbow looked like a few well when I made this a few months ago. But now that that's been changed to the Ulm colours, it makes sense to apply the hydra colours, and that's what this colour palette here is but we're not here to um spoil what the hydra looks like so don't don't ask about that uh, let's make cool. again I'm also tempted to experiment without the dragon head and maybe add the sort of the hydra that I've got here but I'm still unsure if that makes it a bit too different from the dragon hunter crossbow make the spiral that blue colour have you tried might, that? That might be a bit too vibrant. It but, might be. But I can much. try something similar. I was going to keep just the eyes that blue colour so it had like that faint highlight. Like so. And then maybe the gem as well. I have to add some new colour codes. Uh, let's just see. It looks like we have a lot of colour here but even though it tells me it's gonna look like this. It it's, lies. It's not, yeah. <laughs> Wait, if you switch to the swatches, they can actually see the range that we have. Oh, that's not the full range. That's not even the full range, some of those pop grey. Yeah, pop, yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's uh, our life, unfortunately. Make that, okay. Hydras are poisonous, will the lance have poison? How does the what? The hydras are poisonous, will the lance have poison? Oh, uh, no. That would be, um... I don't believe that was on the, uh, the polls, so it would be a strange thing to add after the fact. They're certainly matching the, um, the gloves a bit more, so that's kind of cool. And now I've just got to figure out... I think I'm going to make this bone, but that might be a bit too much of that colour going on. Somebody said, Modji, did you play RS before you came to Jagex? Yes. I mean, yeah, they, they asked a very <laughs> simple question. Stay hydrated, <laughs> but I didn't even read that. I just saw the water bottle and thought, can I? I am, I am thirsty. Could do with the drink. Something I do every stream as well. I just sit here for four hours and I never stand up or walk around and my feet are going up bit dead. Oh, I'll give it. Gotta wiggle your toes. Yeah. I usually like to take my shoes off doing these, but it's too late for that now. Mm. Someone said, can you guys work on female hair? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Slash, I don't know. I don't know if we can do, if we can I work on female hair for like the, every, like, the actual characters and stuff. Yeah, Can we release more hairs? I think we added... Well, I think Ghost worked on some last year. I'd like the to beginning do that. Because <laughs> he made a bunch Make more... Good hairs. I definitely remember him tweeting about asking for ideas for hairs for guys. And I'm pretty sure I remember him modelling some pigtails. So I think he... We have done, but I think we might be at the limit now. But I think mm. it's... Um, if we can get an engine change, I think we can get some more. Mm. Someone's saying, yeah, that looks so good, to be fair. That um, does look pretty cool, actually. 
it does look like it will match with a lot more things now because there's a lot less red going on. I really like how the blue looks with the with the white as well. Well, white. Well, yeah. It's kind of like a washed out <laughs> greeny chalk colour. My one thing is this hilt. I don't know if that... I think that might look better if it was... Hilt that was blue. black and that was blue still. What's everyone saying? Somebody said, how good will... I missed it. Never mind. Sorry. Which one of them Whoever's boss heads. thing I missed post the game. Initially, I did. And, uh, I've got some. Oh, I got to open again. Someone so, said blue at the top of the hilt. So when I st first started making these, and let's delete these extra ones. I did um, play around with some ideas. So you, with um, like a forecast head version, and things like that. Just trying out different ones. Uh, I guess that that's the warm coloured one. But they don't really seem overly relevant now. Plus, they're also using the old model with the double dragon heads, which was a bit, a bit much for a one-handed weapon. <laughs> What's better than one dragon? <laughs> Two. Anyway, so yeah, I've, I've played around with lots of different color schemes already, but I am quite partial to this, and it is quite similar to the um. Well, it's reminiscent of the uh, the Hydra, which you're not allowed to see yet. A gilded one. I mean, yeah, I guess. But we generally don't have gilded versions of like unique weapons. Where's Modrai? Oh. Oh, is it yeah, time? It's five minutes past. I guess he's uh, a bit late. <laughs> blue horns on hill. Hmm, blue horns. What time did I come down? I don't remember. It feels like I've been here all day. <laughs> <But> it's <laughs> only been two hours. <laughs> Has it only been. I guess you came down around half. How long did um, Ghost stay? I think he left at quarter to three. Oh, he came at so, two? So, yeah. So he was there for about 45 minutes. Thank you, Project Cubone, but I think you've already told me that you love me today. But I, I love you too. <laughs> Bit personal, isn't it? I don't know which one. Okay. <laughs> something going to happen? Yeah, yeah, that's a good point. Is something going to happen? I want to change this. This is a bit too, um, a bit too washed out. Uh, let's use sort of middle grey for it, I think, like that one. So that can be. Recolor that, select that. Whilst you make something happen, I'm gonna go and get right and carry on with my cool. sulfur so, lizard animations. Awesome. So I have a few more to do. But thanks <laughs> for having me, guys. Yeah, thanks for joining me. <laughs> oh, the reason gonna start again now. I can, yeah, five, four, three, two, one. And re. <laughs> oh, <I don't> <laughs> oh, the re's. Okay, guys, you just got me for a, for a while until someone joins me. Mod Rye might be coming down. So maybe you should start rying and not re. Oh, like someone's already started rying instead of reing. There we go. Perfect. Rest in peace view count. What was the view count? Did it actually make a substantial change? There we go, we've got some Ryes that might uh, inspire him to come down. Start um, tweeting him. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just recolored it to the same color. There we go. And select this one. I did unselect that one, I did unselect it, perfect. So I probably press a lot of buttons and shortcuts that you're like unaware of me doing I d yeah, there's lots of shortcuts that I press I'm unaware of me doing it most of the time but we have like lots of selection tools and all that I thought Zamorak was red, more red it is but the initial one is silver and it doesn't necessarily need to be red uh, I don't even think the um, god sword is red I mean there's probably elements of red on it but I believe there you go that's a Zamorakian god sword. Oh. And that is a clearly sort of like a dark dark black colour, which well a dark grey colour, which is perfect because that is what I'm making it. Because that is also a, a Zamorakian colour. And also it's more resembles the Hasta, because Hasta is quite dark. Oh, it's all turned out quite nice. There we go. What does everyone think of that? Let's get some reactions. Put some blood on it. I mean, I could, but it's quite difficult to cover things in blood because we have to do it polywise. It looks very good, very nice. Pogs. Someone's saying better. That's good. 
That's good. A Christmas tree. Blue has to help. We can always do some like recolors in the future, potentially. Once, um, I think that'd probably require a poll though, as we haven't really polled multiple uh, variants. Where the twirl on the cone of the lance meets the head, can you taper it off to make it look more natural? As in, you don't want it to connect with the head? I think that's what he means. But yeah, it does sort of get lost in the um the tooth at the moment. So what I could do is uh, if I move this one up there and down a bit. Nope. Oh, it's perfect already. There we go. And then triangulate that one. Triangulate that. Where's the color I want? I think I want this polygon. Like, like that. In fact, yeah, that does, oh wait, and that one, which is a different color, I believe. That's definitely not that color, is it? There we go, four, four, four. And there we go, so it's a bit more <laughs> enhance. There's a lot of things in the way. Um, what I'm going to do is save this jagged. Um, Let's call this something um, logical, which is unlike most of my. Uh... Actually, you know, some of those are kind of logical. I think Lava is my favourite naming stream there. Let's, let's call this Design Stream Two uh, Lances. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it is Lava. It, what, it's what it says on the tin. It looks weird because of the weight distribution. You, you are correct. I am. I mean, I sort of. I could reduce the... I do want to reduce the size of this head somehow, but maybe the hilt in general could just be pulled in a little bit. I sort of like this, so it currently has this sort of shape like this, but I guess it doesn't quite have the same setup on this side. So how about... where do I have the resolution to do so? I could... could I weld those down? Maybe move the nose down a smidgen as well, like so, and then weld those together. Maybe like so. I've lost the nose though, haven't I? Well, the nasal nasal holes. Yeah, there we go. Although he's looking a, a bit flat now. And that's, I mean, it's not really changed much. Put a top hat on it. I mean, yeah, that would certainly um fix the weight distribution problem. Can you make the staff part you hold a lot longer? Which side? The side of the hill or the side of the, uh, well, side of the hill or the side of the um blade? Okay, I think that's the same person. Hopefully. <laughs> okay, so. Let's move this out like that. Try removing the dragon head entirely. It's, uh, it's sort of tempting because it is causing problems. The pommel looks like a Zemi hill. Do I need to get that instead of a Hasta? No, the um the hill is the uh the sort of end part slightly modified of the Hasta. That's what it requires. Well, okay, it requires a Hasta as well as I don't want to get the name of this wrong, so I'm gonna find it. Alright, yeah, Dragon on the Lance. There we go, let's get this over here. The Hydra Claw with the Dragon on the Lance with the Zamrakan Hasta. See I made the um I made the claw a few months ago and I assume the claws look the same on the on the Hydra I'm not gonna spoil for the Hydra, in fact no, we tweeted about it, let's just go back to that tweet uh, give me a moment there we go oh, this, yeah, these claws are a lot smaller now so yeah, these are, well, they look more like toes I guess 
Am I moving too close to the mic? I might have done just then. So these are the claws, I guess. They are a lot smaller than they were when I initially started uh, working on this. But essentially, uh, let me get a... Let's figure out where I saved it to. So I think it'll be Slayer... Skill Slayer Inventory. Drake Claw. Boots of Stone. Hmm. Is there... Yeah. Oh yeah, go for it, man. Uh, am I back on? Yeah, you're back okay, on. Cool. Oh, so, yeah, cool. So yeah, guys, just uh, <laughs> don't say muted. I don't believe you. So yeah, you I'm <laughs> well, yeah, technically I was, but now I'm, now I'm not. Okay, I'm just looking for the Hydra Claw. It looks like I've gone and done the silly thing and save it in a different place to the Drake Claw. So I'm gonna go back to the. Ma you can't see what I'm doing. I'm on a different screen. I don't really want to show you the um, uh, our source control because that might give you information that we don't want you to know. Let me, oh, let me search Hydra. Oh, not Hydra. I, I literally can't spell Hydra. Every time I sp try and spell Hydra, I spell Hyada. I don't know why. So this is the model I've got for the Hydra Claw. As you can see, uh, see you, John. Uh, as you can see, I it's quite large, but I feel like we've probably made the um <laughs> the Hydra no the Hydra a bit a bit smaller since I took this off of off of him because I think it, it, the initial model was. Maybe a nine by nine, or maybe a seven by seven, but I think it's um, a little bit smaller than that because it was a, a little bit too big. So, as you can see, it is quite a hefty thing that is being attached onto this. Often not quite uh, enough to maybe make sense of the the dragon head, so that's why I'm still sort of skeptical about that. But yeah, let's see. Let's look at the chat because I've not looked at that for a while. <laughs> Hail Dida. Hail Hydra and indeed, remove the head. The hill is now a, a black defender with its own rank and symbol. You know, adjust it. Adjust it in which way? It's not really a, oh, it, I guess it may be. <laughs> I guess it does look a bit like a black defender. But that is what the um, the hilt for the uh, Zamrak Godsword sort of looks like. I guess I could make it wider or maybe make the, um, the, the tip shorter. Straw pole to remove the head. I could do a straw pole. I would have to uh, leave you with a. I'd have to go over there and set one up. Put this claw instead of the head facing. Put this claw instead of the head facing backwards, please. Oh, I, I'm confused. You say you want the head on the on the hill. Someone says it's really good, keep the head. I'm thinking we should keep the head because it has been a, a rather prominent element for quite a while. But we could probably make it take up less space. So let's... Or maybe, well not maybe take up less space, but make it a little bit smaller. God, my voice is going to start going soon. I'm, I'm not used to like annotating my work as I go. Usually I'm just sat there in silence all day. Working away, crunching the polys. And now his uh, mouth is looking a little uh, strangely wide, so I'm going to drag these down as well. Maybe two down, like so. And same with these words. Oh, I don't want to drag these ones down, I'm going to drag those ones up. Okay, I'm getting confused now, there we go. Green is up, one, two. I should know that by now, because green is the y-axis. Red is X and blue is Z. We have sort of this wires up sort of system, which is difficult to get used to because I've always been, um, I know it's along the corridor and up the stairs, but I've always been a, I've always worked top down. So it's, uh, I always had like this being X and this being Y. So this depth would be Z, well, height would be Z. <coughs> move head closer to hand. I did initially move it away, but then I made it longer that side. So that is a potential, a potential fix. Although I could do that in a different way by just moving it like 
like so. And reposition these verts. The reason there's a gap in this weapon is because we don't have a... We don't have a Z... Oh, sorry, I'm burping again. I apologise. Uh, I don't have a Z buffer. Well, I don't have a Z buffer. The game doesn't have a Z buffer, so if there, uh, if there was actual polygons there, it would uh, render awkwardly, as you can see there. So we've just got to leave that that spaced gap, that little gap there. I know it's probably a bit awkward looking through all these other items. It's just sort of how I'm, I used, uh, I'm used to working. I'm fairly certain I saved this earlier so I could remove some of them. So I'm going to save it again. Uh, I didn't need to save this a while ago, but it's always good to keep saving. Keep your work backed up. There we go, two. And now we can remove these. Although they're saying that sort of a good sort of point where we came from. I'm also going to remove these other items as well. Just as a recap, that's the um, the Dragon Haster. That will be dropped from Konar Slayer Tasks. Then there's the Dragon Knives. Most of the Slayer Creatures in Brimstone. Well, not Brimstone. Uh, the Karum Dungeon. We'll drop those. Just to explain what the difference is. I'll close that. Uh, the brimstone itself is the town, and the mountain is called Karum. This isn't actually what brimstone looks like. This was like a, a little mock-up I made for Runefest, but it's actually the layout is substantially quite different. It, it's a little bit bigger as well. But I don't really want to spoil that because I have a feeling I want to. If I you know, spoil the new map, it might remove the sense of adventure and exploration when when this is released. Um, cool, so what else am I deleting? That's the Zamrakian Hasta. I want to, well, I don't, don't know that's the spear. I want to leave that in the scene because it is relevant. I'm going to remove these hands. I don't know why they're there. I'm going to remove the bone crusher or the chisel or whatever you want to call it. The brimstone ring and his old top hat. Uh, I'm going to remove the devout, wait, should I remove the devout boots or the brimstone boots? I think he still needs some, some feet. Uh, I think these... We'll just, we'll just do that. Okay, awesome. Yeah, there go. there's um, the Chaos Lowlands uh, blog that's been posted in the uh, in the Twitch, so you can have a read of that and see all the other items and uh, well and all the other information, including the uh, the farming guild and everything to go along with it. I'm just gonna move this. Oh, I'm gonna move this out of the way as well. And I don't know if I need that anymore. And this was just an example. And for some reason, it's gone really. Washed out, that's weird. Unless that is just the colours, probably. Who knows? Cool, there we go. A lot less to look at now. It's a lot less confusing. In fact, I'm also going to get some more best in slot items. See how that's going to look when combined together. So let's uh, get rid of that head and find the... For the ne the Neit is not helmet, or the Neat is not helmet. However you'd like to say that. Oh, that's such a long list. Let's go to human. Is it head or hat? That's the question. So you have like a folder called hat with hats in it and a folder called head with heads in it. But sometimes um, hats are put in the head folder and heads are put in the hat folder. It's uh, fairly inconsistent. I mean it makes sense because sometimes you just need the hat but you want the hat without the hair. So would that be the head or... Yeah, it's, um, it's interesting. Is it interesting? Probably not. There we go. It is a hat even though it contains the head as well. There you go. It's actually known as the... Frizz Kingly Hat, which I believe it means Fremdic Isles, and the Kingly Hat being because this is the Hat of the King. There you go, a little bit of information there for you that I'm sure you all wanted. And these aren't best in slots, so let's go find myself some Tassets, Legs, uh, God Wars. Oh, yeah. Let's just search for this one. This is a lot easier. There we go, got our little tiny little skirt there. Apparently that offers good protection. And the torso. Uh, where are you at? Bandage, chest plate. Is this ASMR? Essentially, yeah. Uh, I've just got one of those voices apparently. I don't want to remove this completely, so I'm just going to keep that over there. Probably, it probably it should probably go with your arms, the torso. Come on. The main reason I was using the fighter torso instead of the bandage chest plate earlier was because the um, the God Wars, uh, the bandage chest plate has this uh, unfortunate side effect of having very very big bracelets attached to the arms, which means, yeah, that happens. I mean, it won't render like this in game because I've got these set to the wrong render order at the moment. So if I show you the render order, this is how we um, essentially our fake Z buffer. If I turn that to F11, there you go. That's how that will appear in game. 
It's unfortunate. In fact, that's also clipping out a little bit. I don't know if that's a bad thing. I mean, it is a bad thing. But whoever made these, this original chest plate is a, a, a very bad person because they uh, sort of messed us up in the future. West, the arena for dead man mode looks good. Oh, thank you very much, Coco Poo. <laughs> Shouldn't have read that. Well, I, 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 yeah. Cool, thanks. It was a it was the walkout I used for I made for Dragon Slayer 2's Ungal Broken Down Tower. And that's the only really place it was being used, so it was quite nice to uh give that a bit more use. <laughs> what about the the some pikes facing towards on it instead of the swirl? Uh I don't know what you mean. I don't really want to get rid of the swell completely, as it was a, a key element of the uh, Twitter straw, the Twitter straw polls that I ran a few a few months back. Polar redesign on the wrists. I don't know. Yeah, potentially. It's a, it's a difficult one to change really because, I mean, we didn't need to change the wrists completely. If anything, we could just remove this ring and move this sort of pauldrony bit upwards. But the whole point of that is to cover the hands and it sort of loses its appeal. Plus it's a very old item and changing those is uh, generally quite difficult. West, can you move the head to the handguard so it shortens the lance and addresses the head issue? Handguard? Isn't the head on the handguard? It's um... I don't know what you mean by handguard. Unless you move it from it to somewhere else? But where else would I put it? On the hill, maybe? Yeah, don't change mind us. You see, it's a, it's a, such an old item. People have a sort of a. They just know what it is. They don't really want, like changing those things. Think of the the female armadillo helmet, which me and Ghost were talking about at the beginning of the stream. We pulled a, a change to it because it currently just sort of looks. I mean, it doesn't really make any sense why it looks so different from male to female. It's the same same helmet, but for some reason there's no face guard on the female variant. But when we hand guard, okay, that's the hand guard, but isn't it already on the hand guard? Uh, can you show it on a female model? Uh, yeah, I guess. Uh, it will take me uh, a few minutes to uh, assemble, but I will get that for you. I'm trying to move this guy. Oh, with his, with his amulet, with this amulet. Can I select it? <laughs> Apparently not. You know what? I'm just gonna leave it there and then move it separately. There we go. Problem solved. So now I've got to go through all the female uh, items. Where are we at? So, I'm going to start with the arms, as that is where the alphabet starts. Apparently. God Wars, God Wars, God Wars. Is it not called the same thing? There it is. There we go. We've got some arms. We've got some feet. What feet should we go with? Let's just go with Pigasians while we're here. Pegasians, not Pegasians, Prims. Jeez, what am I doing? So it's just, it's, I just enjoy saying Pegasians more. <laughs> so I've, I've moved far further away from it and um, don't have the loudest voice. I try and, uh, I try and project. Hands. Uh, I've not updated the ferocious gloves. It doesn't matter. You can't see them anyway. So we'll just go with um, hundred. No, not hundred. One hundred. There we go. So Barrow's gloves because, like, why not? Uh, hats, should we go with the, so I can't really see the chat while looking over there. To work for jackets, do you need to both R and code or just one? Um, you can know both or either or, it's up to you. I, I can sort of do both, but I don't really think I'm proficient enough at programming to go for the full-time programming job. But we don't have any design roles on the, on the old school team. So we don't hire just, just designers. It's just R or programming or QA or community management. There's all, all, all sorts of jobs. <laughs> These shoes look like Uggs. <laughs> yeah, I guess they do a little bit. Uh, what was I doing again? Oh yeah, I was getting the neat helm. And that is called Frizz Kingly Helm. Frizz Kingly hat even. Um, head, head extra legs. Uh, God Wars. Um, which necklace do we want? Let's just go with a Fury. A 
Okay, we're going with the ornament kit because that was the first one that appeared. Oh, we've done legs and torso. Like so, okay. And now, because women have hands in slightly different location, we're just going to move this to there. Perfect. So that is how it looks on the female models. Let's move these things more out, out of the way. My accuracy is quite bad. You got really, uh, you got really good at accurate, haven't you? There we go. Cool. So here we go. Tune. Uh, which one's playing? I can't see from here. I, I want to assume it's Sea Shanty. Too girthy. I mean, it's it's actually lost a bit of girth when I reduced the um, the location of the teeth, which is a good point. I need to uh, I might take that one up. I don't know if that's going to look a bit weird again. Like this sort of splayed out. Yeah, it's a bit of a problem, isn't it? Mm. What's everyone saying? Someone says remove the gem. I feel like the gem is the least problematic part of the um, the design overall. It looks sick, awesome color scheme. Yeah, I'm, I think I'm preferring this color scheme as well. And it will it will also, it, being as the uh, the dragon the crossbow is no longer black and red, it makes sense to um, make this one a bit more unique to the boss it comes from as well. All that being said, black and red would potentially work as well. But I'm not really I'm not I'm not I'm not leaking anything. Yeah, the, uh, it's currently looking like it's clicking into the leg, but the, this won't be like the, um, the pose that the player stands in when, the, um, when you're actually animated. You'll actually hold the, uh, the lance slightly away from the body. Cool. Thanks, bye, Master Zap. Glad you like it. Gonna say it again, it looks really good. Oh, thank you very much, Septria. I think I'm saying your name right. Se Skeptria? Septria? Black and red looks too cartoony. Yeah, I th and I think it's sort of a problem with a lot of the dragon weapons. They do look because it's such a bright red as well. Steel color base with blue bone accents. I would, I, I am fond of the idea of having a few recolors of it, but I don't think we got that planned for release. Let's actually see how this. Oh, did I get? Oh no, I didn't. I edited it, didn't I? Oh, I had like a really neat and tidy um haster that I made, and I've gone and gone and deleted it. That was a silly. So it's now looking like, oh, it's, well, since I've extended it, it's now a bit longer than the Hasta, which is a bit of a problem because it's still a one-handed weapon. So I'm sort of tempted in maybe extending this out a bit more and reducing the size of this. We need recolors, Smork. Yeah, I do like a good recolor every now and then. But it's, it's something to leave for once the project's out and people can get to know what the uh, the basic one looks like first. Can you change the design to devout boots to match the justice your armor? Nothing in the game matches a specific color scheme. Hmm, that's not a bad shout. I do quite like the current color scheme of this. Does that match justice? Oh, did I say justice year? Is it justice year? It is justice year. Justice year. I don't know, I named it and I'm, even I'm confused because everyone calls it just the car armor and I'm always like, oh, I'm just confused of what it's called nowadays. Let's get the man legs just this year. Just this year? See, I'm saying it different every time. It's just one of those stupid, silly words. Oh, wait, I didn't even name it, did I? I named the, the, the boss that they're based on. Well, not the boss that they're based on, the boss that they. It doesn't. That's, it's unimportant. Okay, I'm in. I'm in the wrong file. I'm looking in arms. I need to look in legs. There we go. So it's yeah. The blue is slightly off. Spam marker. I don't even. Let's move things over. There. Yeah. So currently, use the color scheme directly from the holy sandals, which seemed like the the most fitting. Well, because they are made from the holy sandals, but I still think they sort of they go. I mean, they're a bit bright, maybe. But yeah, that's um, I don't know, it's probably a discussion for another stream. We're we're, we're working for 
working on the uh, the Dragon Hunter Lance at the moment. What are the boot stats? The boots have a plus five pro bonus, and I'm fairly certain that is all. You can find out if you go to the um, RuneScape website, and how do I keep losing this? So if you go here, you can find out more about this update. Go to the brimstone section, and it will have all the stats of all the the items. So this is the devout boots. They have just the prayer bonus. Generally, uh, prayer items uh, they're used for you know making your prayer last longer. So having extra defenses is usually generally quite unnecessary. <laughs> hey West, will you be home in time for dinner? Uh, probably, yeah. But I don't think I'll be having dinner with you, because I don't know who you are. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, exclamation mark Kebos for a link to these uh, to this blog. Make the head part thinner. Make the head part thinner. So I'm going to assume you mean face on thinner. And you know what? It does actually bulge out. Maybe that's what I've been looking for all this time. Thank you, Rosaline. Rosaline, sorry if I'm saying your name wrong. Let's make this thinner. What I can do... Oh, I don't know what I just did. I pressed something. X, did I delete something? It doesn't look like I delete anything. So I got like, um, whenever I, a pop-up appears, it appears on the other screen, and I managed to cross it away without even realising it. Okay, let's... Uh, Grab this and this. Uh, they might end up meeting in the middle, and that might look a bit naff. But we're going to find out when I do it. So, is that the entire horn selected? It looks like it. So, face on. I'm going to move that down. One, two. Yeah, that will make them meet in the middle, so I'm going to move that one up again. And then make that a bit more central as well. Come on, go up. Oh, that's not the... <laughs> that's the wrong... Bit. There we go. Oh, what are you doing there, Justice here? So now it's thinner. I might have to change how those horns work as well. The software is awful. I feel sorry for you. I mean... It is a bit rudimentary. But we can... Uh, we do have Max and Maya to use for... um for more intense modeling times this is and we get used to it you, you get kind of fast at using this sort of software and it, well, it is the only way to um color our models so you have to sort of get used to it we do have um in fact what time is it it's half four well gone part just gone past half four here so what i'll do is uh, i think once i made this thinner i think we're getting close to a a fairly shippable version of the of the Dragon Hunter Lance. So then what I'll do is I'll open up the new map editor that we've been using for a few months now and show you how far we've come. I've done a few streams where I've done some map editing. So I think the last one I did was I did the Town of Sleep back for Theatre of Blood back in May. Oh my god, that was seven months ago. How time flies. So what I'll do is um, just give you a little tour of that and maybe make some things as well. Well, map down some areas just some simple things i won't be like making any new items uh, new models or locations or anything because that will take a bit too long so i'll move that into the middle i'm moving that vert behind and i think i want that vert don't i indeed i do uh, up to the middle and then move that one out was it two one two wait why is that one in the right place did i just not grab it the previous time Let's turn off the sequencing because that's kind of getting in the way. In fact, this reference grid as well is getting a bit annoying. Cool. Uh, those horns are sort of a bit close to each other now. Let's get a view of any plans to make the Hydra look more draconic and less avian. Uh, the the model for the Hydra is finished now, so that is the um, the final the final version. I don't really want to spoil it, but trust me, it, it makes sense. Modwest, what about making the handguard on the gem side a bit smaller? Like, make it more towards the hand. Alright, so this part here. As in... So instead of uh, flaying out that way... Sorry, that's that carrot soup, it's coming back again. Make it curve inwards a bit more, and move the gem forward and maybe make it a bit smaller. That's a good point, I'll try that. 
Then we just work on these uh, horns first. In fact, I kind of like how they're joining there. It sort of makes it a bit more of a guard from the side. Mod lonely, all the other mods ditched. Well, it's a uh, it's a busy time, it's a busy day. Uh, we've had the Dead Man beta. It's been an update day, and we are getting to the end of this project. We've got a month left to work on it, and as I'm sure you're all aware, it's the soon to be Christmas, and that is a time where lots of people take time off. So we do have a a lot of work to get done. And while someone sat here taking questions, they are losing time on their work. So it's perfectly understandable, and I don't mind being alone. It's a it's a bit more relaxing, even if I am missing too many of these questions. What if you replace the gem with the Hydra Claw? I mean, that could work. I mean, the Hydra Claw is quite big. That would make sense, though. I mean, the way I'd always sort of seen it was that the Hydra Claw was this sort of long, lancey part. There's sort of been, I don't know, maybe they've got metallic claws, a bit like metal dragons, and it's been hammered out into this sort of shape and then use the bones of the Hydra to uh, make a, a sharp little edging part. Mod West, your work is the best. Thank you. When will the Christmas event be released? Oh, I don't know the exact date, but I'm going to say around Christmas. And that's as close as I can give you. And I, I've recently just finished working on the, the Christmas outfit. Hopefully you like it. I've, uh, I've tried to um, not be too meany this time. So it's a bit more... Uh, Reserved. I think it's quite nice. I might be wrong though. Uh, we all have different uh, lines when it comes. I mean, I, I think all cosmetic sort of uh, Halloween, Halloween, Christmas, Easter events, they need to have a bit of a comedy involved because it is the it's the time to be jolly and all that. Make the gem part thinner and smaller. I'm going. I'm going to. I'm going to Rosaline. You've um, you've been slowly, slowly getting me to um, adjust it, and it's it's starting to look fantastic. I'm gonna make this eye a bit smaller as well, because it's sort of growing a bit. Maybe make it a bit angular like that. Although yeah, I'm worried it might disappear if it's that small. Again, the old selection problem again. There we go, down a bit like that. Awesome. Cool. And sorry, I didn't mean to do the upskirt shot there. That was a completely, completely accidental. It didn't really seem like a problem when I. Well, I had a guy there, but now I've got a female model. It seems wrong. Why is that skirt so much shorter? I don't know why. And also, the chest plate is so much skimpier as well. I don't understand why this happens. I don't, I'm not a fan, to be honest. I think armor should just be a... <laughs> yeah. I think armor should just be a protective and not different for both male and female. But that's the the way the way it goes, I guess. Okay, cool. This okay. I've, I think I have made the, the dragon head small enough now. I think it takes up less of the silhouette. I'm still unsure about the size of these horns, but I do still kind of like them. But this gem is what I'm gonna work on next because okay, they've stopped spamming it, so that's good. Let's make this like uh, like so. Um, two. I don't want to make it too small, but again, it is already. I mean, now that everything else is a lot smaller, it does stand out a bit too much. Let's bring this down. Oh, see, I'm sort of running out of uh, resolution here. I, d I still want it to have a, a good shape. And that, uh, like so. See, it's sort of it's starting to lose that sort of gem-like shape that I had going on. And my voice is uh, <coughs> getting a bit croaky. So I want to hydrate. Stay hydrated, guys. There's the camera. So I'm looking at the chat. The chat's over there. Uh, thank you, Harry OSRS. Horn's going to be in here behind her body. Well, when the um, when you attack, you twist it. So it should it should not be in the way. What modern software is this? Uh, what software is? Yeah. Sorry, I'm, I'm, I can't even read. What software is the most similar to the in-house version? I'd say Blender, from my experience, although I've only used like Blender, Maya and Max, so I don't have the greatest uh, diversity of um, 3D modeling programs. Will the lance be held upright at an angle when it's released? Uh, yeah, so I think it will be held in a similar way. The wait, how is it? Before I say that, I'm going to actually look what, how it's held. So the... Samurai. 
Oh, got a caps lock on. So yeah, it'll probably be held in the same way this is held. Because otherwise... Oh, good job, Connor. So yeah, it'll be held upright like that. Uh, but due to its um, length, uh, if it was held at an angle, it would like clip out of the box. And that's not going to look too great. So let's put that back over there. Okay, so I've made it thinner, but it's still a bit too wide. Or at least too high, maybe. So I'm going to pull that in as, as, as well. Let's, uh, I guess I could reduce the amount of polys on it, but I think that has sort of reduced its its impression on it. This is annoying me, because I'm going to make that Oh, don't make that one. I'm just going to pull that out of the way, because it seems to be getting in the way when I rotate around. There we go. Perfect. Yeah, I think this has uh, come a long way, this stream. I've been looking forward to getting back at uh, editing this, because it has been a while. As, I, as I've mentioned a few times already, I do like to... Um, can I bring that down? Does that look bad? In fact, that vert doesn't serve a purpose anymore, because that was part of the original, original twist. So I'm going to push that over there and weld it there. Let's remove... Oh, I've actually removed quite a few verts there. Interesting. Hopefully, I meant to do that. Let's look at the chat. Sorry, I don't mean to be ignoring it. What was the overall poly count of the lance? That's a good point. I've not really looked at it. 522. Is that too much? It's a good point. So, let's go grab what the lance looked like at the beginning of the stream and see if I've actually made, managed to increase it. I think I had made it the perfect amount before. Well, at least not the perfect amount, but a good amount that it wasn't too much because we do have um, a maximum poly count that we can't uh, go over because if that is reached um, the player will stop rendering and that's not very good now is it uh, what's it called again lance there we go cool so that was the lance at the beginning oh let's move out of the way so we can actually get a look at it so that was it at the beginning and that's what it looks like now as you can see it's had a Quite a few changes. It started off at 474 and now we're at 522. So we have actually increased by quite a fair amount of polys. Well, okay, a fair amount. In the in old school, that's around 50 polys is a lot. And I think that's because mostly because this design here at the bottom here is quite simple. Unlike this one is a I've got a few more tries on it. Let's sort of count them as we go. So this pommel is 108 tries, while well, this one is 48. Yeah, literally, it's all from there. The addition of this new pommel. So, I guess, I don't know if I could optimize that anymore. It is already fairly simple. I guess I could maybe remove the edging on the inside of this one, but I don't know if that's a problem. I don't recall what the, uh, the highest poly count one-handed item is. I think it's the Smoke metal stuff. No, it doesn't look right. 282. It's the one with the um the swells on it. Steam. Ah, so yeah, that'd be the one. 509. Okay, cool. So I've actually gone over 509, so I need to reduce 12 tries. Where can I save those tries? That's the question. Hmm. The head. <laughs> yeah, I mean that's uh, that's where I was gonna look first. These. Okay, this. Okay, we don't need this anymore. That's just. That's what it used to look like. Cool. I think. Um, I definitely think it's improved. It looks a lot more vicious. Definitely goes better with Bandos, chest plate, as well as the um, the rest of it doesn't have too much red on it. I do feel like, I mean, I like to keep melee items red, magic items blue, and range items green, but it's good to di uh, diverge from that sometimes because otherwise everything's gonna start looking a bit too similar. Why pairing with Bandos? Uh, purely because Bandos is best in slot currently. I can't really think of any. Uh, I, I guess it still kind of looks good with um, the fighter torso. That's uh, sort of standard sort of grayscale, sort of colour schemes. And it's good to keep um sort of periphery sort of more interesting than the, the you know, the main arms. And plus when when the when the uh, the main swell had lots of red on it, it seemed to get lots of 
Oh, it was called a Christmas tree at the beginning, so I'm glad it's uh, moved away from that sort of comments. I still think this is a bit too long, although I don't know if I can pull this out further. Maybe shorten the, make it the dragon a bit smaller, maybe. Oh, there was another thing I was going to do, wasn't there? It was now take taper this in. Of course, I forgot about that. In fact, if in fact, no, I need to take some polys off, don't I? So what I could do is merge these together to make that gem a bit smaller. And it might look a bit better now that it's a different angle. So weld that together. Move it up a little bit. Like so. As well as this one. And flip that round so it doesn't look like it's uh, concaving. You always got to keep an eye on your tries. Like that. Cool, that's um, saved. Oh, I've got to select object first. That saved me like two triangles. <laughs> Almost there. Let's also change the way these colours are facing because it looks a bit naff how that is. Like that. Cool. It's, how long have you played it? Oh, that's not a question for me. If you take off the gem, polys go down. You've got a point. In fact, now that, uh, now that I've made that smaller, I need to bring that in as well. In fact, I think, yeah, I think a, a, simpler, a simpler shape for this gem would be a diamond. So that looks nice, but now this edging is a little bit too thick. I mean, eventually there'll, <laughs> there'll be so little of the diamond left, but maybe I might as well remove it. Oh, damn it. There we go. Drop that. Should I bring it in again a bit more? I still want it to sort of poke out. There we go. And now that I've made room over here, I can bring this forward as well, so it's not impaling her leg because that is not ideal so what's what what's I want, I'm gonna look, now look at the chat for a bit so I can judge what everyone thinks of these changes right while I just quickly move these back because those now are no longer even so start posting your thoughts in the chat because I'm gonna be looking at it much better, awesome, love it, nice. <laughs> Show under skirt, I'm not doing that guys, don't be silly. Who is Kebos? Kebos Lowlands uh, is the area to the west of Zaya, so I'm gonna get up a map just to answer that question quickly. So this is um this is Zaya, to the western part of Zaya is the Kebos Lowlands and the um, Mount Quid Mortem already exists as part of the, the Kepos Lowland, but we're adding this sort of area to the north, which hosts the Farming Guild and Mount Quid, uh, not Mount Quidwarm, that's the one down there, Mount Karuam, which hosts uh, a whole new beastery of Slayer creatures, including the Drake, the Worms, and the Hydra, and amongst the, a few other already existing creatures. Is the lance longer than a godsword? Ah, yeah, that old, that old chestnut. I think it is longer, and it is a bit bigger than a godsword. But technically, so is the um, the Hasta. I will, I will um, bring it in and show everyone. I don't know if that's gonna make it make me want to make it smaller. Probably. I think it's um, it has grown a bit after making this part longer. So it is potential that I could bring this this part in, if you so please. Uh, God sword. There we go. There's the armadillo God sword. So it is. I'd say the godsword is a, still quite hefty. Someone saying make it thicker, but I've already had so many people make it and tell me to make it smaller over the past few hours. So, in fact, there's a comment right there saying thinner. Oh, the, the, the back is so long. That was a request to make it a bit more balanced. So we could make. I guess we can make it a, the hilt a bit smaller. Let's deselect. And pull that in like there maybe. And maybe make the spike a bit less intense as well. Oh, I might need that point on as well. Someone said it was worse. Maybe there's like a, a middle ground I need to get to. more black defendery now. 
Let's get this Black Defender up. Because I do think you have a point. But I don't know if that's a problem. I mean, yeah, the Black Defender is a bit... Oh, why does always do that? It's a bit more straight on the edge there. If that's seen on stream. Okay, I'll wait for that to update. We're on a slight delay. There we are. Yeah, I think the Black Defender is a bit more straight. And this is supposed to resemble more of a, a Zemrakian symbol. Rather than a black than a defender, and you know it is a it's a spike and it's sort of towards the uh, the darker end of the colours. That's just sort of inevitable. In fact, I'm gonna bring that in, bring that like that. Is it the same from the top? There we go. Very small change that. Looking back at the chat, I make it red. <laughs> yeah, keep heel the same length but make handle shorter. The hill was looking a bit too spiky, but I guess yeah, it's a very um, it's a very hard. Uh, there's a very fine line to ride here of making it too long and too short. Make it bigger. The hill is very large, that's for sure. I think this necessarily tries on the ho on the horns. If it tries on the horns, hmm. Might be right. I didn't want it to look too um too angular. But I guess I could remove some tries, maybe. I guess I could remove this this middle section, but then you sort of lost the handguard. Not that this armor set requires a handguard, but not all armor sets have that. Okay, let's get uh, let's move this out of the way. So that's what we're looking like at the moment. I don't know what sour please means. I mean, I assume it means please, but I don't know what, what, what you're asking for. Remove them from under the part of the lance. I don't know what that means. It's a dance. <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's a dance? Okay, is that a good thing then? <laughs> he doesn't know. Yeah, I don't really spend that much time on Twitch. I'm sorry. I don't know, um, I don't know what all these emotes mean. <laughs> I know what a few of them mean, but not all of them. Make the handguard bar on the gem side thinner. So bring in this, I suppose. Oh, wait a minute. Those are the wrong verts. There we go. Those two and those two. I don't know how thin until so it's going to look wrong. Uh. To be fair, if I weld these together, I'm saving myself some verts. Oh, weld them together first. Maybe like that. <laughs> I'm sorry if I keep going on. Oh god, yeah, I keep doing that. I need to stop doing that. Maybe I need to change some leg models. Maybe get some a bit more safer work. Oh, not change that. This is what you get, guys, and and, and well, everyone. When you uh, when you make too many comments, we go into I don't know what to replace it with. I want man legs as well. I don't want man legs, though. I want women legs. Weird, weird, weird sentence to say out of context. In fact, let's um, let's make this a, a classic. Someone who can't afford something where are we going so i'm just finding a different model no that's not going to solve the problem here we go this is what you get guys you get dragon plate legs <laughs> i want man legs <laughs> boo <laughs> yeah those are some pretty wide hips aren't they and some misaligned verts from the looks of things there's a there's a gap there i should have just kicked with the uh with, with, with the guy model shouldn't have i should not have I? Is that English? Hmm. Four additional polys on the back of the dragon head. Four additional polys. Oh. Well, I guess I could flip. Oh, I can if I select the right. Oh, I've got caps lock, not shift. There we go. Are you saying I should remove these ones here? 
Like so. In fact, she's a little bit more than four. I mean, that leaves a hole. I don't know. Like, yeah, I guess that is a bit unnecessary, isn't it? Why a javelin? Um, this isn't a javelin, it's a, it's a lance. I think. I don't know, I don't know anymore. It's been a long day, guys. Well, which view am I in? Um, right. Yeah, I need to go right. Make the eyes and gem green like the Hydra to match the Dragon Pass, Dragon Hunter Crossbow's own theme. Uh, currently this matches the, um, the expected colour scheme of the Hydra. The, what you've seen of the Hydra so far, there is more. But I'm not going to spoil anything, because spoilers. You'll find out. I don't know when you'll find out. Um, I don't know if that'll be a secret for the... Uh, for release? Probably. Probably a secret for release. Although we usually do show bosses off before then. And we, I mean, while we do like secret, keeping secrets, so things do seem a bit fresher on release, we um, don't always keep everything under hat. Although it does, it is nice to keep a bit more mystery involved. I mean, I do, I do really like the polling system we have, but it does spoil some of the mystery sometimes. And it's good, and uh, one thing we can do is keep a few things unreleased and keep it, keep it under. I'm, I'm, I'm just rambling now. <laughs> I'm gonna stop. I, just, I don't know what I just did. Oh yeah, I was just tidying that up a little bit. Can you shrink the middle of the front section so it looks pointier at the front? The middle of the front section. So it's sort of... It's very difficult to shrink this without it sort of collapsing on itself because as you can see, I don't have much room to 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 maneuver. I guess I could bring that in. The problem is that it's going to start looking like um, it's going to stop looking like a a smooth, a smooth a smoothie. <laughs> what am I saying? It's going to stop looking so smooth and start looking a bit more rounded. No, it's going to stop looking rounded and start to look a bit more harsh. I guess I could fuse that together actually. Which side's that on? Right or left? I suppose it's on the right side. <laughs> Smooth, yeah. Come on, guys, give, give me a chance. I've been uh, talking to, essentially talking to myself for the past few hours, the past hour, and I'm starting to, starting to lose it. I'm not, I'm not highly practiced at this. This is my first, uh, first stream in a while. So I need to move it down, over and down. And then across like that. There we go. It's oh, I've sort of lost that definition there. You see, I'm, I'm starting to lose that that smooth edge, and it's starting to get a bit more angular. Oh, they're saying that is that really needed at this stage? I could probably save some tries by doing that here as well. Oh, I'm looking at the wrong side again. What am I doing? Uh, right. Was that the right direction? It was the right. There we go. Weld. So I'm just trying to uh, tidy this up a little bit. Sorry if I'm being too quiet. I need to uh, get a good look at these sides. Why is there a polygon limit? It's an old game. Yep, keep hydrated, guys. Thanks. Um, stay hydrated, Bart. Oh, you uh, tend generally need a little more, a lot more hydrating as well when you're constantly talking, which is um something I'm not used to. And the problem is more so with um, player kits is that you can customize your what you wear, as I'm sure you're all aware of. So you can wear all sorts of bodies and plates and legs. So you can mix and match essentially all of the highest poly items together, and run a risk of um, causing problems. So it's good to keep a keep a good eye on what some um, what the current highest poly count is. We did initially have it uh, extended to help with this. 
but it, I mean, limits aren't always bad. It keeps us um, keeps it old school. If we can't add um, a mil million tries, then then it will stay old school. It's an old game, yeah, but we're paying for devs. It's not, yeah, I know. It's, yeah, we do get those sort of updates, but it's it's more of um, which one is more important. And being as the art style we currently have is working very well, and lots of people really like it. Having the sort of arbitrary updates is a uh, when we could have something a bit more impactful is a bit better. Obviously, the the mobile is the um the go-to one, but mobile's out now. Is it a visage thing on the right? Um, sort of, but it's not an, an actual visage. It's just a sort of. A bit of flair. How is it being a designer at Jagex? It's really, really cool. Um, I started playing old. Well, I started playing RuneScape in 2004, and I think it's pretty much what sent me down the road of going into the games industry. But back in, like, say, well, it wasn't straight away. It was a few years into playing RuneScape, so I'd say 2006, 2007. I certainly wasn't expecting to be working on a game that looked pretty much the same as it did back then. But you can never predict the future. But yeah, it's uh, it's, it's really, really awesome. Maybe it looked less like a cone sword. Well, it's um, lances. Well, jousting lances generally are this sort of shape. It's gonna be able to spew green fire like a special attack. No, there is no special attack for this, but it has a passive effect of hitting dragons a lot, a lot harder. Uh, because it's a lance, exactly. Did you study game dev at college, or are you just self-taught? I did a, a computer games design and programming master's degree, or, or whatever that means. It was an integrated master's, it wasn't like a true master's. Sort of like one of those fake ones you get around telling people about. When they ask, of course, I don't actually tell people about it. Aren't lances held under the armpit? Yeah, technically. Um, when I first started making the lance, the first thing I thought of were jousting lances. Uh, there's lots of like fantasy games that use lances that aren't used oh, used in the uh, the expected, you know, historical way. But that's the sort of great thing about fantasy games. You can sort of play with expectations, and you don't have to um, use them. And well, we don't have horses anyway, so we can't use them in the in the real way. They would be used. Try putting the lance bubble under the armpit. Well, I can't really affect the um the skeleton at the moment because I'm in the model editor and not the animation editor. Horses when? With uh, what are horses? Runescape doesn't know what horses are. It's a spear with a large head. It is. It is what it is. I'm still. I mean, I'm not. I'm not going to keep it like this. I'm just going to play around because oh, it's actually past five now. I did. Sorry, I did want to get into the, uh, the the map editor for a bit. And show that off. I feel like we're in a good place for this. But just as an ex oh, I can't really. Yeah, I was gonna just try and move. Oh, I can't select anything again. Thinking of moving it further up. Shortening this, but every time I shorten this, it's gonna affect the the swirl in a rather negative fashion. And it's already looking a bit. So I was pushing this around earlier, and as you can see here, it's gone a bit. That's a bit wonky. Uh, Diango sells horses. Yeah, they're just toy horses. I guess we do know what horses are. Horses are hornless unicorns. And like so, I think it's a bit smoother. It's very, it's very difficult looking at a model from all angles, especially with so much other things in the scene. I'm just going to go around triangulate this so make sure it doesn't mess up when it goes in game. There's another one. And another one. And, uh, oh, I missed that one. That one. Zero corns. Exactly. That's a perfect name. Or maybe naughty corns. Hmm, no, that doesn't work. <laughs> that just sounds like something else. As if they're being naughty. <laughs> just make it look good. I'm sure there's a make it look good button in here somewhere. Maybe it's in the um the help file? No. Nah. 
be fair, I think this is a bit bulging still. Uh, no, it gets me every time that does. I'm gonna bring this in a little bit. Yep, just a little bit. I didn't want to do it too much. What is that? Could that be brought down? Potentially. It's very hard because this is such a, a dark model. It's very hard to actually see the um the silhouette from all angles. Cool. Let's look at some chat again. Oh, I'm getting getting shoulder pain from being sat still for too long. I shouldn't really stand up and move around, but I'm the only one here, so I oh I think I can persevere for another forty minutes. Good West, I don't have the time to deal with the Twitch chat for hours. Thanks, man. It's, uh, uh, you get used to it after a while. I mean, this is like, I don't actually know how many streams I've done now. But this is my third one, maybe my fourth one this year. So I generally, generally, uh, I don't do them that often. Blood clot. <laughs> yeah. That's the, uh, that's the worry, isn't it? In fact, that's a good point. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to stand up for a second. I'm going to walk off, off, off. Just a small stretch, nothing too much. I can last another half an hour, it's all good. So I think, <laughs> I hear it. Yeah, you heard me do a small stretch. It's those, it's those hamstrings, that's, that's what you gotta keep an eye on. And roll the shoulders. Oh, oh that, tight shoulders, it's not good. It's all this uh, sitting down I do. <laughs> Thank you, uh, Denzel Spruill, hopefully I'm saying your name right. Myself. <laughs> Go swimming after your hours. I should really swim. I've not swam in years. It's um. So yeah, I need to get, need to get back into that. Okay, I think I think this is in a good position now. I think it's definitely come a long. Well, it's definitely come a long way. It's changed color palette. It's changed design quite a bit. I think it does look a little bit more vicious than it did at the beginning. And I got to thank uh, Mod Ghost for the color palette. And Trust me, you're gonna love the Hydra. It looks so good. Swim your way home. <laughs> uh, I mean, I guess it might be possible. There might be a river that goes all the way. I like this more than the Christmas tree that was suggested. <laughs> Thanks, man. Is the Dragon Hunter crossbow equivalent and is it 75 attack to wield? Uh, I wouldn't say it's equivalent to the crossbow, but it has the same effect. And the level to wield, I believe, I'm saying it slowly so I can have a look at it, it is 70 attack. So I believe that's the same as the Hasta, although I don't actually know what the Hasta is. I've always had the level to equip the Hasta, so I never really thought to um, look it up. Although I guess I could just look at it right here. Yeah, 70, I thought so. Any lore explanations coming up for the Dragon Hunter weapons? Uh, potentially? Will you watch the Game Awards? I generally don't watch award shows because it's not that I disagree with award shows, it's just over time they sort of lose their meaning because... I don't know, is it a popularity contest? Is it a some, doing something new contest? I don't know. Will the Lance have any benefit at Corp? Uh, I suppose it counts as a spear, but I don't think it'll be any better than the Hasta. Wait, is there an actual combo between Cheese and Helm Stay Helm? I believe there is. At least I'm certain that someone's mentioned it to me. Uh, type in Slayer Helm. It's not coming up. Did I imagine that? I swear it was a thing. <laughs> I mean, I was looking at it. I had a... Oh, I've deleted it now. But I would be cool to fuse those two together. Season 5 and Slayer Helm combine. Yeah, that's the one. Spear is. Oh, yeah, spear. Does Hasta not count as a spear? I don't know. I don't do corp. I'm sorry, I'm a noob. I only just got 17. Uh, they're not talking about me. Cool. Uh, uh, let's get to the map editor. We have half an hour. I'm going to show you around the new map editor. I'm going to save this. It's always good to save your work, guys. Uh, don't look at my naming conventions. 
they're not that interesting. Uh, let's name that three. And I'm also going to save this over the current one so I don't forget. So bear with me a second while I just submit this. Let's get the lance out. <laughs> yep, the lava, the lava memes are coming again. And <laughs> I looked over there while typing, and obviously I typed lava. That happens. Dragon on lance. Check out. Uh, let's save binary. Okay. Go to models. Human. Where's human folder? Weapon. Look at all these weapons we have in game. Oh, there's so many. We want the dragon, hunter, lance. There we go. Cool. That's saved. Always good. <laughs> Lava lance when? <laughs> oh, I use a... Don't, don't make me start me again. I had a meme day yesterday. We need those um, headers. That's what we need. Leaked. I don't know what I leaked, but potentially. Void Slayer Helm? Oh my god. Could you imagine? Thanks, I think it will help a lot with the... Oh, you're not responding to me. Can we get a good angle of the lance before moving on? Yeah, 100%. I don't know what a good angle is. Um, so I'm, okay, I'm going to just move this over here. Have a nice look at um, Zorm for a second. I'm going to open up something. I just don't want to spoil anything for the, the, the Halloween... Uh, Halloween? The, the Christmas event. Because I've got this... Uh, it's going to come up. Will it, will it, will it do it? You see, yeah, that would have that would have been spoilers. So no, I don't want to replace. Cool. Per oh, actually, no, you can't see the config name. That's good. Thank God. Let me get a new config open. Uh, pretty sure we have a max simulate one somewhere. Max range. Why is max melee? It's in here somewhere. Sorry guys, this is a uh, I'm blind. Max magic. I mean, if this is organized in alphabetical order, this, this wouldn't be a problem. In fact, is it called Max? Is it this one? No, that's definitely not that one. I'm just going to start flicking through them because some of these just don't have the right names on them. Uh, in fact, do I need to hide this? I don't need to hide this now. You can, you can watch this part. There's... Aiza, I'll marry for P-Mod. Ooh, <laughs> go for Aiza. That's a, that's a good deal, that. Although, yeah, I think, uh, I think Block Team might have a point there. What am I doing? I'm looking for some, if anyone else can see Max Melee, unless it's not called Max Melee, then I'm just a, a silly, a big silly. Is it Easter? Didn't think it was Easter. That's, that is a farmer. Woody test? No, 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 no. Oh, there we go. I mean, I'm, <laughs> of course, a lot of his head's disappeared, but sure, why not? Okay, let's fight. Let's fight. Let's give him a head again. Where is my, where are my heads at? Um, actually, it's hat, isn't it? This is what I was talking about earlier. So we have hair, head and hat, but the, uh, the Fremnic helm is stored in hats under man hats. For his kingly hat, there we go. Oh, and you need a beard as well, because that's separate, of course. Demon head. <laughs> Not today, boys. I'm pretty sure it's just the droll demon head. Unless it's the demon masks? No, they're called demon masks. Where's the head at? <laughs> it's there, guys. Okay, let's have a, a long jaw. One long boy. <laughs> I love invisible beard. Okay, now we've got that on, we should probably give us a cape as well, and because I can, I'm going to give myself an infernal cape. Dude, report me guys. Awesome. And of course, the weapon that we just made. What's it called? Weapons. Leaked. I don't know what I'm leaking. I mean, there's there's lot. I mean, a lot of these model names, I guess, could be leaking things, but... They're just model names, guys. Um, Dragon Hunter Lance. Da, 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 da. Where are you at? I'm so blind. I can't work the alphabet. 
Dragon. I think it's one word, that's why it's confusing me. Oh no. See, the, the longer I take, the, <laughs> the more embarrassing it is. Now that I've brought attention to it. There we go. Um, actually, we, want a, we probably want an offender as well. I know where that one is. Do I know where that one is? Mm, maybe not. I spoke too soon. Um, da, da, da. Let's just go up here. Is it up here? I hope it isn't up here. I'm trying to go with the Dragon Defender. I know where that one is. Uh, music is a bit... I don't know what the music is at the moment. Dragon Defender. Dragon Defender. There we go. Okay, let's look, stop looking at those model names because there's no need for that. Mm, okay, cool. So now let's find the animation. I'm taking way too long with this. I'm so yeah, I'm, I'm just tired, guys. I'm sorry about this. <laughs> Animations are even harder to sort through. If I was me, I would have put it in Zaya. And I would have called it Dragon Hunter Lance. Hey, would you look at that? Let's turn off the skeleton. Oh, no. You see, I've done the, the classic mistake here. Where I've added new geometry to the model. Oh, why is it away from the hand as well? Did I? Oh, yeah, because I saved that under the female model. Classic mistake. Okay, I'm going to move this. I'm not going to go through finding uh, the female one again. So I'm just going to move the... Oh. I'm just going to use the hands. Uh, I've lost the grid, so I don't actually know where to put it. There we go. Got to line it up perfectly. And now while I'm here, you see this this stretching here. is because I did new polygons, and I didn't tell them how to animate. So we have these labels. So everything for a weapon is just labeled as right hand extension. So over here, we'll have some... Labels that aren't that. Uh, if I select my label and then there's a little dialogue options, if I select null, it should select the null ones. And it's not selected any, which is confusing because it's definitely stretching here. And it's definitely the right hook. Ah, oh, that's why. <laughs> Classic. So earlier, when I was um, creating this, this section here, I flipped this one over there. And when you flip something with labels on it, it's like, oh, let's flip those labels for you. So it turned the right hand extension into left hand extension. But that's not very useful. So, sorry, moving away my, removing away from the mic so I could burp. It's that soup, man, it's, uh, it's repeating on me. Right hand, oh, my caps is on. Right hand, EXT. <laughs> yeah, chocolate rain. <laughs> I thought that might be mentioned. And now we're going to save this out again. Dragon Hunter Lance. Awesome. Perfect. And now let's go back to the configs. Close it and open it again. Ah, oh, perfect. We have us, I mean, <laughs> it took me like 10 minutes to get, get a good pose for it. Sorry about that, guys. So this is the uh, the animation as well, as you can see, sort of twists it as he uh, pro prods it, making use of those. Uh, I mean, I mean, you're never going to be this close to him when you're playing the game, are you? You're probably going to be like out here. That's pretty cool. I don't know what I'm doing with my hand. If someone can uh, make a gif of that, that'd be really handy. Uh, yeah, add some sound effects. I'm not doing it myself. <laughs> I mean, you can panic by clusters if you really want, but I'm pretty sure they're already quite expensive. And I think the uh, the Hydra Claw will be the uh, the key selling point here on release. Move cursor. Sorry about that, guys. Do you want it a bit closer so you can get a bit more detail? There you go. That back part is just too too long, to be honest. Yeah, I see what you mean. Uh, the main reason for extending it was to balance out the model a little bit more with um with jousting lances. They have quite a big 
hill, but I don't know what you'd call it, to sort of balance out the weight. It does have a crush style, yeah. Um, I'll show you that anim as well. I mean, I, I, I don't think this is like an original animation. I think I just edited something else. There we go. I mean, it's, I don't really think a crush with a spear. I mean, I guess it is. You know, it makes sense because it's a big, a big pole, but it's never going to be like hitting something with a hammer. So let's get that one there. Bash. Here we go. Very aggressive, indeed. Cheers, guys. Show us the swipe. The swipe. I think it just uses an unused animation from the God Sword. I think it's the same animation. The um, oh, hit myself there. The uh, leaf bladed battle axe uses. So that animation was made for the God Wars. But for some reason was never added to anything. So if I find that for you, area God Wars, God Wars update, Zamorak special player. <laughs> no, if not that one, pretend that didn't exist. That was interesting. Uh, if that's that is the Zamorak God Sword spec, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Is it? Was it this one? Am I remembering it wrong? I remember there definitely being a. No, that's just the normal one. These are all two-handed, so I don't know... Am I in the wrong place? Maybe I am in the wrong place. Yeah, uh, let me... Go into script edit for a second and find it. Lance... Sequence file. d -claws. I'm not... Uh, I'm not here to do that. Okay, I've got lots of... Balance animations. I don't want that. There we go. It's called God Wars God Sword Zamorak. That's just what it's called. God Wars God Sword Zamorak. God Wars God Sword Zamorak. There we go. So yeah, it's just the leaf bladed one. Again, not really the best weapon to slash with, but it, it you know it's a spear weapon type, so you can do slashing, stabbing, and so crushing declaw and dead content I mean I could do the declaw animation with this lance it's gonna look really stupid but I can do that if you really want me to here we go guys oh I gotta get rid of the old one Are you ready this is gonna look really stupid guys wait I'm looking at the chat but I need to be looking at the camera Are you ready guys <laughs> here you go I mean, you're not even making contact. <laughs> well, I guess you got the uppercut <laughs> right at the end, yeah. Just a little punch on it. You have to be pretty strong to be able to move it that quickly as well. <laughs> I mean, this is why. I, I mean, this is <laughs> I'm not pulling this. I just keep it going. This is what I like about the animation editor. You can just sort of play anything with anything on. In fact, I could do like uh, the ball walk run. <laughs> yeah, that's content that is. <laughs> or the, uh, the bash. <laughs> AGS spec. Oh god, I've started something here, haven't I? See, this is now where it gets confusing, because the arm deal, the one named arm deal, isn't the arm deal spec, is it? No, of course not. That would make too much sense. The, these are all just wrong. Saradabin, maybe? There we go. No, no, that is the Saradabin one. Which one's the Armadil spec? Saradabin sword? There we go. Apparently, apparently that was originally made for the Saradabin sword. <laughs> this isn't actually going to be the animation, guys. That'd be that'd be ridiculous. I mean, it, I mean, it kind of does kind of look cool, but we don't we don't we don't do that. That'd be too confusing. And plus, it doesn't even have a spec attack, nor is it two-handed. Okay, I was going to show the uh, uh, the map editor. I've only got 15 minutes now, but that should be plenty of time to um, assemble a very small building. So, oh, actually, I want to open up the anim uh, the model editor first before I do any of that. Model editor, map editor. So it's got lots of things to minimize. Where are you at? I still don't see it. There it is. <laughs> Using a pickaxe. <laughs> 
I feel like I'm enabling it by doing it. I don't even know what the pickaxe item is. Basic tutorial, maybe? There we go. Mining. <laughs> oh, what am I doing? Boosh. <laughs> so this is our new map editor. <laughs> Shrimp now. I'm <laughs> not fishing with it. <laughs> so we have, um, first of all, we have adjustable UI. I know. This is, it's revolutionary. First of all, I need to find myself a map square because this is a bit boring looking at nothing. Let's go with 1856. This this is definitely not a final map square because currently in game, so 1856, I don't know why, that just said the name of it, that doesn't really say much. This was this map square to the uh, northwest of Mount Quidamorton. Initially I made this map square back when we released Raids 1 and I purposefully blocked it off so you couldn't actually get there and I'm not going to leave it like this, I'm going to update it a little bit so this this um, this circle of stones will uh, be different. I mean it will still be like a, a sort of an altar with a stone circle around it but currently it is just um, a hole with a fire in it so I'm just warning you before I get into it. So let's just go and get myself some some maps updating there we go and we want 1856 so we're gonna open up this one stonehenge yeah essentially but it's, it's the same models from i believe the stone circle in the druid stone circle see so yeah it is literally just as i said very very basic it's not going to be like that and maybe it will be i don't know i might make it a bit more interesting i never really expected this area to um go out looking exactly like this and let me just play around the UI a bit because I've not used this. Um, usually I have this spread out over two screens because there's lots of UIs going on here. So this is our, our beautiful map editor. Uh, we can now zoom in on here. Uh, back in May when I did the previous map editor stream, you couldn't zoom in and you had to just sort of look at it from like here, maybe. You can never zoom in. It makes a lot of a difference. There was also a mode where you could go top down and see the world rather... Um, from lots of different angles and that's sort of been removed however we have this other mode where it's not I mean it's not quite as impressive but it's still kind of cool where you can see the world well see the sort of 2d map but with height mapping on it so you can you can do your height mapping make the terrain and actually see what you're actually working on which is awesome and you can like push and pull things and sculpt the terrain it's pretty awesome but for now we're gonna come back to that later Hacking. <laughs> it's not hacking. It's, the, it's how the game's made. So I'm just gonna do a brief uh, overview of how how the worlds are built. So I've only got ten minutes. So I don't really have time to build an actual environment. So we have like four modes. We have F1, F2, F3, F4. It's how you sit between them. F1 is location mode. So you can plop down locations, things like trees and rocks and walls. Uh, we have like elements here. So we have one two three four five there are walls so one is just a straight wall as you can see there this will be the evil dave wall because that is the first wall selected but let's um let something a little bit more <laughs> useful so uh let's just go with a shack of some description we got any shacks we do oh wait that's that's boring let's go with the viking wall kit um there we go so we're going to remove that one, plump that down. So you go, that's a wall kit. That's why it's a single wall. And then you can hit like five to get a diagonal version of that. And then because it's a grid based system, oh, to be fair, that doesn't actually look so bad on, on a grid. But you also have a type two, which is just sort of a bit of filler, which doesn't really do much for this, this wall kit because it's quite a thin one already. So if I was to, I don't really want that like that. Maybe like that. See, so I can, oh, that's a, Sure, a fence, that's, that's what I wanted. So you can make a, a little hut rather rapidly, like so. Probably not the best place to put a hut, but that's where it is. So yeah, that's how you, that's how you like map walls down and build a building. And then you've got, uh, you've also got these type cues, which are things like, as you can see, sort of down here, so uh, it's a candle. So you like candles and paintings and torches that you can put onto walls. And then you've got type eights, which is fairly uh, a fairly uh, intense. I mean, it covers pretty much everything. 
anything from anything you can like click on or, or uh, I don't know uh, all sorts of things. Let me um I don't know tree. Oh, I need to be in the box to type that. There you go. Uh, is that the only tree? Oh, right, I'm still on type Q. That's why. Type eight. There we go. It's lot lots of trees, so I can put down a an achy tree. There you go. From um the the ogre felled appeals area. As simple as that. So I'm gonna burp again. Oh, I'll drink some water. Mm. It would be awesome if we could give this out for you to play around with, but. Unfortunately, it relies on having access to our source control and everything else, and our script editor it ties in. It ties into lots of different things, and yeah, it would be awesome to like give this out and have people play around with it and make some custom maps. But we just don't really have the uh, the possibility for it. Did I just dab? No, I didn't. I just sort of coughed over there. If that looked like a dab, I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't didn't mean to. Yeah, oh, gassy. Uh, yeah. Uh, I don't know why. Imagine RuneScape Halo Forge Edition. It would be sick. It would be. I mean, this is. I, th I think my favorite thing to do working here is just making and editing maps. I mean, I've spent. Oh, I think I've created. I mean, I created this entire area. I'm sort of working on making this area here as well. And of course, I want to uh, re reorganize Hercidius and Lovicane in the future as well, and maybe pull a case in a little bit more as well. Uh, but that's that's for the future. And yeah, it's just really fun to do. Anyway, I was explaining how it works. So, those are type 8s, then we got floor decorations. This is things like, uh, as you can see, this lovely, uh, lovely gravel on the floor, uh, grass, things like that. There's probably other things as well that counts as. Uh, there's a whole long list of things that you can put down. Decking, like for um, piers, stuff like that. Uh, then we've got NPCs. So if I say please, I could go, this the one I usually go to is, King, the uh, King Dragon. Where are you at? Where are you at, King Dragon? There you go. Let's uh, plonk down a couple of KPDs. Although it starts to feel a bit like a private server when you do things like that. So you don't do that. Uh, drops. So this is how items are appearing on the floor. So if I wanted to, I could um, be a bit of a mima and just. There you go, guys. Twisted bows, as far as the eye can see. Again, that's not something you do because that is a bad idea. And then you've got roof kit. So this is essentially just what, like, the wall kit is, <laughs> but for all types of roofs. So you got like shape ones. <laughs> Guys, I'm not gonna map down twisted bows. I'm not. I'm not an idiot. Cool. Uh, yeah, it's just wall kit. Uh, no, roof kit. Roof kit's a bit of a pain to work with because there's so many pieces. You got. You're the actual inside w r roofs, so like the actual slanted bits, and then you're the edging as well. <laughs> no one will notice. I think someone might notice. Anyway, that's not happening. In fact, I know what I'll, I'll, I'll map this down for you guys. Type A. Uh, there we go. There's some twisted bows that you can't actually pick up because they're not actually items. They're just um, the the, the fake twisted bows in the theory of blood. <laughs> How much time have we got? Got 10 minutes, cool. And I'm still explaining it. So yeah, those are roof kits. Uh, <coughs> yeah, my voice is definitely starting to go. Jesus. <laughs> Finally, I understand that meme. So this is a this is the roof kit for, what does it say? Bur so this is like the bird rot roof kit. Obviously mapping a roof kit on the first floor, or well, on the ground floor even, probably isn't a good idea. But yeah, you can like, Create some lovely roof kits there. Of course, they don't have um, they don't have hill skew turned on, which means that they don't abide by the uh, the terrain height. So they don't. Well, they, I mean, they do abide by the height. They move up and down, but they don't move like naturally. So if I turned on hill skew, it would weld the verts together, so it looked more um natural, etc. I mean, lava. <laughs> Oh wait, stream done in 10 minutes? Yeah, we're ending at quarter two because I've got, um, there's another stream that uh, someone else needs to set up for, plus I need to go and catch a bus. And I don't want to miss that, I need to get home. And all that. If max cash stacks can slip through ground, t as, well, as well, for sure. What? Hello, Mr. Wadda, anything I should buy that will increase in value? Uh, no. Do that at your own, at your own peril. 
make a head up here. Can you drive? I can't drive. I'm a bus noob. I was going to say something else then, but I thought probably better not to catch the tube. There is no tube in uh, Cambridge. Cambridge? My voice. Uh, well, there is a train station, but I live out in the middle of nowhere, and trains don't go there. Yeah, that's, thank you, Giga DC. That's exactly what I was getting at. Bus in 2018. I, know. I mean, on the bright side, I get to read a lot. That's kind of cool. Or, you know, browse Reddit and Twitter. Anyway, you're distracting me. Let's get back to... Uh, yeah, so, that's that's mode 1, F1. Then we have F2 mode, which is height mapping. So, the different... So, I think the, the darker the colour, the lower, and the brighter the colour, the, the higher it goes. It, it's quite horrible to look at because it's just in shades of red, which is why this... Uh, this orthographic 3D mode is awesome. It's not very useful here. Oh, well, no, it is useful here, but it's not very obvious here. If I go to um, potentially the uh, the worst height mapped area in the game, uh, let me just figure out where that is. Uh, I need a map square number. Oh, <laughs> that's that's the one I wanted to do. But that will entertain you while I find a. Yeah, there we go. So I want backstory and falls, which is 39.54. Oh, they were they were asking me to do different animations. So they wanted the uh, the mining animation. So <laughs> yeah, if you if you hit the rocks hard enough, they'll uh, it'll work out in the end. So what was that number again? Thirty nine fifty four. Yeah, yeah, I had the D claw spec going earlier. They they loved it. It was fairly fairly comical. So if I would locate thirty nine fifty four, uh, there you are. So here it's gonna be. This is probably like the the weird, the, like the most drastic height mapping we have in game, as you can see there. And like sort of looking at this from top down would be kind of awkward, even if there's lots of different colours. You made an animation of me, did I? So yeah, this is a this is a really cool feature. And there you go. There's a height mapping mapped onto it. I mean, this is the worst place for height mapping because I mean, this is a bit too extreme. Nowadays, I probably wouldn't. Wouldn't do something like that because, unfortunately, yeah, that stretching is a uh, is not ideal. But there's nothing we can do about that. Anyway, so that's um, go away, please. Go away, backstory, and why aren't you going? I thought I closed you. There we go. Second time's a charm. So that's um, the height mapping mode. It's fairly uh, fairly, pretty much what it says on the tin. Uh, there is a tool here. There we go. Let's put it over here, so you can like adjust the size of the brush. We can adjust the size that we're planting with, so if I did that, it would make that look quite bad. And we can even like increase and decrease, so we can like, we, or uh, well, we could do the opposite, where we like push it down into the ground. We couldn't do that on the previous map editor, we, we only could set basic values. So now doing terrain height mapping is uh, going to be a lot better, especially with this new 3D view, so we can actually see what we're doing. I think I'm lagging because I've got that animation playing, so I want to pause it. There we go. Of course, that's the height mapping view. I have a few minutes left, so I want to quickly run through the third mode. This is sort of like... Uh, what is it? Oh, it's underlay. So, it's how this terrain here blends from green to a sort of like a browny, greyish, muddish colour. This is all done with underlay. So if I were to take this orange and put it down again, it would start blending it slowly in. So yeah, that's not done by hand. That would be, um, that'd be quite painful. Uh, that's, that's pretty much all that mode does and then we have overlay mode so this is like it's lots of different modes so we've got like painting down blocking so that's what those it's actually we don't need to be an ortho for this so this sort of red line means you can't walk into that tile that's a, a blocking mode and then we've also got the ability to paint down paths so let's find myself a path color a cliff that would do actually agility that'd be a better one they have weird names. They mean I'm, I'm sure they meant something to the person who named them. So we can paint down some pathing that doesn't blend, and then we've also got a whole bunch of shapes. So we can like make it a bit more curvy and stuff like this. You know, and that's how that's how paths are created. And it also creates like oh, also textures as well. So the water is painted down in the same way, and the edging is uh, yeah, it's quite quite you know you get used to it, but it's not the, the most uh, interesting system. Can you show boss? I can't show boss. That's a bit of a secret at the moment. Did I see a purpy smile, purple smiley face when you zoomed in? Uh, did you? I guess that's 
I, guess, I don't know. Did you see a purple smiley face? I don't remember putting any smiley faces anywhere. Potentially, though. Things do tend to... I mean, unless that looks like a smiley face. I don't really know. I could make a smiley face if you want. Uh, a purple one? Probably... Is there a purple colour? Apparently so. I mean, this won't, this won't, this won't be final. Let's add a bit of roundness to it. Is that smiley enough? There we go. There you go. He looks very happy. Maybe like thin out that mouth a little bit. There we go. Be nice, everyone. Oh right! Oh right! I could do, yeah, I could do something angry as well. I mean, uh, like that. There we go. Uh, yeah, let's give him some vampire teeth. That was accidental, but that's what we're getting with. Cool, so we're at um, quarter two now. So, yeah, unfortunately, that is the end of the stream. So just to um, wrap up, I was just sort of giving you an overview quickly of the new map editor. It is really cool. Um, very happy to be using that. Thank you, the tools team, for sorting that one out for us. Shout out to them. And, uh, yeah, here's the... Um, let's actually get a non-stupid animation for just the final shot. Uh, where's my Zaya? Where's my Zaya folder? Um, you could do details again if you want. <laughs> okay, then. D-claws. <laughs> <laughs> what time to be alive? <laughs> no, I'm sure the chat liked it. Uh, where did I put it? D hunt alarms. Let's, oh, God. No, I didn't want that one again. So let's go with the stab attack. There you go, guys. Cool, so thanks for tuning in for the stream. Uh, this will be the last stream for the Kebos project. And Kebos is going to come out in just over a month on the 10th of January. So get excited, guys, and have a good Christmas. Oh, yeah, of course, yeah, there'll be more Q&As. This is the last design stream. Sorry, let's uh, clarify that, of course. So, yeah, thank you for joining me, and have a good, uh, yeah, have a good evening, guys, <laughs> and a good Christmas.